Welcome friends to the Beaver Dam. We're gonna hop right in. We got actually quite a few Galactic Legends on defense. Um, I say quite a few. More than I expect from an account like this because every account I've gone against has been like, oh, really stingy. We're gonna take them all on offense. And so, you know, seeing two is actually kind of a happy moment for me. Does it mean I'm not gonna waste them with just absolutely stupid counters? No, I mean, I have so many stupid counters, and we're gonna keep it going, and it'll be great. I'm gonna love it. So we're gonna have a good time with it. <clears throat> uh, this guy's skill fol folder's obviously lacking. You got no Datacrons on any of these teams. And so we're gonna just jump in and destroy things. Although, um, we'll do we'll do a Battle of our Own, but then we actually had uh, one of our guys uh, that watches our channel sent me a video of just a fun battle, I don't want to show it to you guys. Yeah, Ryan, Bane time, exactly. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw our Bane, and then we're gonna show off another Bane fight that's just stupid. So we'll start off with this Lord Vader because <laughs> this is just too much fun. I've been doing this in Squad Arena, and it just makes me laugh every time. Like, it doesn't matter what team comp, I did this in Territory Wars without the Omicrons, like, it doesn't matter what comp, but just any Relic 7 Sith with Bane, and you're just destroying Lord Vader, like, yet another Lord Vader counter, so, it'll, it'll be a fun time, and, you know, uh, Obviously, once we get the new Datacron set, we're going to be dropping Darth Sidious off of this. And most likely, actually, who's going to get a permanent home with Bane for a while uh, is most likely going to be Darth Vader. Um, not right now, of course, but I think Darth Vader might be our new duo with Bane for a while. We'll kind of see. Uh, yeah, I did see the Sidious Datacron, which is why we're putting Darth Vader with him. Uh, also, uh, welcome all of you. Uh, there's a lot that just popped up, but yes, welcome all of you. Ryan, Nova, Dank, you guys are awesome. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Dank, watch my back. Make sure no one's coming in through the window next to you. <clears throat> okay, so we're... I just... I don't really want to waste a Doubtcron. <laughs> like... How many do I have? I gotta remind myself. I've got three Doubtcrons. I need one for Darth Revan. I need one for uh, Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. And then my, I think my third one's free, so I can just give it to him. Uh, I'm trying to think of any of my teams that are fully reliced. Here, we can check real quick. Yeah, yeah, like, I, no, I, I shouldn't need a, a Doubtcron, honestly. Um, I'm actually trying to remember what I have on offense. I honestly can't remember. So that I already have a different Datacron for. Yeah, so I don't have another spot for a Doubtcron regardless. So yeah, I mean, I could throw a Doubtcron with this, no problem. Yeah, I don't have another home for a Doubtcron anymore because I've kind of broken up my teams uh, into some better teams. And so I have less fully relict teams right now. So we'll give him a Doubtcron just for fun, just because we don't really need it. So, ah, it could help a solo in the future. It could help a solo or a duo or something of that sort. Uh, we'll just give him this deflection just for fun. Uh, sounds good, playing. Good to see you. Uh, I, I don't think we'll have much of a problem. The main problem is going to be when we get to fleets, I think. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, no Cron full send. Okay, fine. If you guys are... Confident, no Kron, full send. I'm fine with that because honestly, I don't think it's going to be a problem. Uh, let's jump right in. Uh, oh, we need to get Bane's song in here. Arnold still hasn't got heard back from his uh, his motion capture guy. And so I still have to use the, uh, the skit version that he has. Um, I can't actually get the uh, normal version because he hasn't released it yet. So... Is that loud enough for you guys, or do I gotta turn it up? I could turn it up a bit. There we go. Okay, let's jump right in. Sounds good, ADP. I'll see you a little bit later. Ready to watch him go poof? Ha 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 
<laughs> oh my gosh, I love this freaking character. Oh. And that daze just feeds the character even more. Siphon from him. No point siphoning from a GL. We gotta get through the Royal Guard as much as we can, just because it makes it easier, because he can't ramp nearly as much. Sweet, and honestly... <laughs> just gonna throw it on auto, because this this guy's smart on auto. Even on, uh, against one person, he still uses all of his abilities. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, out of the battles we've done in Grand Arena, that was the longest battle we've had with Bane. So impressive, Lord Vader. <laughs> oh, I'd be down to check in with AP Gain, see if he's down to do something. I'd also love to get him in on the Battlefront stream if he's down. I don't know how he's doing. Uh, I haven't watched any of his videos in the last couple of months. <clears throat> but I'll reach out to him, Ryan. Thanks for, uh, thanks for the heads up. I'll take a look and see if I can't figure something out. Oh, Bane is so busted. Okay, I heard a rumor about a great way to deal with this team. And I kind of want to try it. Ooh, it might be too fast for me, honestly. Two eighty eight plus fifty is two thirty eight. So I'm barely faster, right? Yeah, I'm barely faster. I don't think my uh, Rex is fast enough. I gotta put a little bit more speed into my Rex. <laughs> Fair enough, Ryan. Yeah, I don't have a Gidme, unfortunately. I my Padme is gear 12. I'm sure I'll level up uh, Padme here soon, and I'll just actually relic her, uh, but I've never seen a point to relicing her uh, until recent times, and now that Queen Amidala is coming out, I think it's finally time for us to, to relic her. Stuck in my gack by a first order team? Oof, that's rough, dude. That's rough. Yeah, unfortunately, because the only person on this team that's fast enough is Sabine, unfortunately, the turn meter train won't quite keep rocking uh, because this is only going to... Uh, it's not going to give any turn meter, right? Yeah, I'll just give Stagger. And so Maul will get going. I don't know. Last time I took Maul against this team, it... Didn't do well, honestly. Courage is big. Yeah, I, I just don't have the things around it to really make it pop. Like, I don't have a Gideon that's really f super fast. Like, I've got a good Gideon, but it's not an amazing Gideon. So, yeah, I don't know. Uh, this looks mildly annoying, honestly. <clears throat> okay, so we, we gotta be smart about this because we don't want to drop any battles. Ugh. Is he trying to bait out a Wampa? Is that what's happening here? Because, like... That's a lot of Wampa bait. Like, I could Wampa that, I could Wampa that, I could Wampa that, I could Wampa the Mon Mothma. Oh, jeez. Mm. We honestly might be able to Savage solo this. Mm, the Relicate's too high. If, if we had a Relic 7 Savage, we'd be able to solo this. But with a Relic 5 Savage, it's not going to work. Full set of Tuscan, since you, all the are double drops. Fair enough. Wampa the Sea. I could Wampa the Sea... But it does get a little scary um, overall 
when you have multiple other people. You just gotta hope that you can ramp hard enough. But if we if we Wampa there, then we have to Savage here, and then Treya here. Uh, and then that would allow us to have Sith Eternal for this, and then we'd have an extra SLKR sitting around. You guys think that's a good idea? Ooh, before we keep going. Nonsense, it's easy. Dude, I've I've never done a Wampa versus C. I've only seen a couple Wampa versus Cs. Because typically when I see a Sith Eternal on defense, they always put Treya with her, with her, with him. Uh, always put, um... You know, Malik with them, that kind of stuff. Bodhi solo, of course. Uh, I have a thingy I gotta throw in. SLKR solo could work for C as well. Yeah, 100%. We could definitely do an SLKR solo or a Sith Eternal solo, but if we throw a Wampa at it and succeed. Uh, we basically have this Grand Arena 100% in the bag. Everything else on this defense is going to be easy. So I, I think we could definitely do that. Let me just throw this out there. Okay. Wanted to get a pin message out. City is literally solo as that. He will next Grand Arena. <laughs> uh, okay, I I'm down for that. Honestly, um, hey, whoever wants to name the first Wonga, Wonga one, two, or three, that's the one we're playing. Same deal every time. Um, also really quick, I did want to show you guys this. So one of our viewers, uh, Swago Gameplay is his uh, name in chat, sent me this and I thought it was hilarious. So he sent in Bane and uh, Sith Empire Trooper against a Reva team with Malakos and Supreme Leader Kylo Ren. Malakos is gone. Like, <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah. So, I don't think we're going to put Bane with Sith Eternal anytime soon, considering stuff like this. So dumb. But yeah, so Bane can basically take down anything. <laughs> oh gosh. Yeah, better defensive teams, not so much, apparently. Uh, anyways, okay, so who was first? Black Knight was first. Black Knight requested that we play the original Wonga. Okay, let's get our Wonga on. Oh, and we do need our Datacron. <laughs> Bane doesn't need an emotional support GL, exactly. Where was that uh, one that had deflection? Just because deflection sounds funny. Yeah, let's go with deflection. Bane's just a win button. Uh, yeah, the power creep is getting a little out of hand. It's something I've mentioned in a couple videos. I am worried about Queen Amidala because I think the power creep is getting a little crazy. <clears throat> so when Sea Lift are coming anyways. <laughs> okay, let's, uh, let's get our song in here and get started, guys. Oop, that's not the wrong button. That's the right button. What did you say? We might have to jump right into Wanawanga 2, honestly, if this takes too long. Wait, hold on. Second Sister's not even a Sith.
The lack of counterattacks is really annoying. Are you guys sure this is gonna work? This seems really not okay already. Um, kill him. Get that healing going. Okay. Less scary now. Let's get rid of some people. Oh, we gotta get that ramp in. Okay, kill off her. Uh, keep ramping. That seed's gonna be annoying, but we're fine. Okay, that's one less. Okay, I think at this point we're good as long as we get another turn. Okay. Gosh, that was terrifying at the beginning. Uh, keep ramping. We need the ramp. Kill him off. We gotta start working on the big boy himself. Keep ramping. We gotta hit him. I think that's it, guys. Yeah, that's it. Dang. Ugh. That's rough. I mean... Is a solo C easier? Yeah. Exactly my thoughts playing. I think we're going to have to bring up our, uh, our guy to Relic 7. Uh, yeah, I'm going to keep it. I definitely want to bring Wampa up to Relic 7 eventually, 100%. It's just unfortunate. Okay, so we're still going to rock us our... Uh, we'll do Savage here. This guy has... Uh, this guy has his Zeta. His Zeta just adds in... Um, well, IG is active. Target locked enemies can't recover health or protection, but they will just he'll just dispel target lock constantly, so it doesn't really matter. So it's an interesting idea putting this team together, but honestly, because there's no droid deca, I think it's a very easy savage battle. So my wife is yours. Um I don't remember what we're using. That's right. Get that ramping damage so we can get through them fast. A better CT? I mean, but that's the thing is how good was their... Uh, how good was their thingamajig? You know what I'm talking about? No, how good was their wampa? Let's keep this going. We should be able to ramp really quickly just because B2 is alive. Honestly, we'll just auto just so that way we're not slow playing and we can make sure we get through this. Yeah, the next set of Datacrons looks banger. Like, I don't think the, like, level 3 abilities look anything too interesting. But, like, the other abilities we're getting out of it look really cool. Let's let's go for B two. To continue, we need one singular addition. Brother, let us share our strength. No need for dominance between us. Always two there are, my brother. A master and an apprentice. 
apprentice. Okay. <clears throat> I'm the apprentice. Scared for the Raycron? I actually didn't check if there was a Raycron. What's the Raycron? I saw resistance, but I didn't see anything for Ray. I only saw Finn. Finn, Holdo. What was it? Finn, Holdo, and who was the last one? BB-8, maybe? Was BB-8, like, super good or something? Dope. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I haven't checked the new, uh, the new Conquest feats yet. I need to, but I haven't checked it yet. Okay, so this one we're going to do Treya. Where's our Treya? Treya, Talon, you, 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 pull out you, and we're actually going to give you you instead. Uh, oh, it's a revive. Interesting. Okay. <clears throat> Four new marquees, three conquest units, and two legendaries. Jeez. A raise ult by 3v3? Dude, it, it makes so much difference. Um, okay, so... Let's see. We are looking for... Honestly, I'm tempted to just play the Inquisitoria song just because I, I don't listen to this song very often. Let's listen to the Inquisitor song. Eventually, we'll have Inquisitors ourselves. We're actually fairly close to having Inquisitors. I'll show you guys kind of what I'm working on for my guild and where I'm at here in just a sec. Ooh, that was a poor uh, amount of... Um, cooldown increases honestly Jedi cannot help what they are their compassion mm, all those debuffs uh yeah let's just shock again keep you stealthed clear off buffs that shock we can now focus on other people oh no an ability block uh honestly we don't have any buffs to go after so we're just gonna hit her Okay. Uh, they just gave uh, Nihilus an insta kill. Uh, fine, I can't get to him. Well, fine. You know what? We lost. Uh, go in on her. See if you can't kill her. Ah, no double tap. That's fine. Um, we're gonna basically force you to do nothing. No pain, just hit. Stun? Nice stun. <clears throat> uh, yeah, early annihilate's so nice. Uh, let's just get an ability block on you. Or that works too. <laughs> oh, we're just controlling the crap out of this team. Almost a hundred thousand damage from uh <laughs> from Talon over here. Uh, Storm, welcome, welcome. I, I haven't seen the new feats. I I've seen the I haven't seen the new discs or feats. I've only seen the um, well Queen Amidala's kit and then the uh, Datacrons. That's all I've seen so far. Oh, you're sad at work right now? That's so sad, Black Knight. Don't be sad. Be happy. You're here at the Beaver Dam. Come on. We're having a damn good time. Keep telling yourself that till you believe it. <clears throat> okay, so we got this one right here. I, I don't know why we kind of transferred to the top wall, but we did. <laughs> Come up with this on a cantina? No, that's super nice. I didn't even check. Don't look. I did hear about the uh, 600 B1 battle droids. But I believe that's 600 stacks, because in the game it does count them each as a specific Separatist. So I'm not worried about that one at least. <laughs> Where's the damn bait? My undefeated Gax season is gone, I forgot to put my Mara's mods back on. Oh, that's rough. Okay, yeah, then Black Knight, you got nothing to worry about. You can survive an hour. 
Uh, this one right here is actually what I'm kind of worried about, but I kind of want to try this, honestly. Because if, uh, if Phoenix works here, it might become my permanent counter for this. Um, yeah, let's just do that. 3A, yeah, that's not bad at all. No... Uh, I don't read code. <laughs> V-A-A-A -A -A or R-S. Ah. <sighs> I, I'm I'm blanking on what those are. But no thermals? Okay, that's rough. Tuscan check. Yeah, I I saw that was the one thing I did see was the plague or not plagues. Um the p -p 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 purge. The purge feet as well as the uh momentum feet. And I was like, uh, come on guys, I really don't I, I'm not getting Tuscans up, no. But I am, like, you can't really see it here, obviously. Uh, but I am starting to work on my Inquisitors. Uh, all three of these will be seven star tomorrow. Uh, and then I've got one at Relic 3 and then one at Relic 5, so. Uh, you're not wrong playing, except for the fact that once we get the days out there, they can't do anything because they sit there under days. <laughs> um, so I want to believe this works. Here, let's uh, let's check the data. Um, GAC counters, and we're going GAC insight squads. The lead is going to be Maul. Um, and then we're gonna just take a look at Phoenix. Are they in here at all? Yeah, Phoenix. So yeah, the 223 battles with a 72% win rate. Yeah, like that, that looks, yeah. I, we used Bane to kill uh, Lord Vader off. It was really entertaining. Uh, it's the first battle if you want to go look at it. Uh, but yeah, no. So like this, this really doesn't look bad. So I think we can do this. I think we can pull this off fairly easily. Uh, why are we listening to Me, Me, Me? I haven't even been paying attention to the music. My bad. Um, I don't really have a song for these guys is the problem. We'll give them this one. Hey, Madness. Welcome, welcome. Okay. Let's try this out. Definitely airplane mode on. That's right. Sabine's speed is wrong because uh, his kit has a problem in it. It's fine, though. Um, okay. Remove some turn meter from people. Um, I'm trying to remember how this kit works. We're going to call in Chopper to assist. Won't be as much damage, but we'll get cooldown reductions. Um, let's get the taunt up. Yeah, this is not looking good, guys. I'm actually surprised with how bad this looks. Yeah, this is not going to do anything. Yeah, this is what I was expecting is what we're having happen right now.
See, this is what we were expecting. We're gonna lose some people. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna go any farther than this. Dang. Yeah, like, if we took first turn, I think we would have had zero problems. Because taking first turn, you would have gotten Rex out there, just gotten the dazes out there, and then from there, you just keep running a turn meter train like we just were. But because we didn't take first turn, it was just such a problem. And, you know, obviously we failed, so Jar Jar Binks came in. Swallow shards in the conquest pass and pass plus? What does it mean by swallow shards? Hold on, news. Visit site. Bring it over. Okay. Uh, we'll be trying something new where we add a former conquest characters to the premium pass. Ben solo shards right as I finish him. Nice. Okay. Interesting. Okay, so they're adding in shards for old characters. I actually really like this. I think this is a great, uh, a great decision on their part. So they're adding in Ben solo shards. That's that's awesome. Okay. So we got a couple drop battles. Hopefully, you know, our opponent will do the same. Hopefully. Cross our fingers. Our opponent is looking real beefy, though. Um, what else do we have that beats this? I actually don't have a ton of experience with uh, Maul in general. As long as they don't remove main shards, yeah. Yeah, 100% because of the Kron and the light speed bundles. You are you are correct. Okay, we can definitely gas this. Last time we gassed this, it was painful, but we can definitely gas this. Uh, I don't think that's going to be a problem. We could definitely CLS this, too. We do have the stuff we need to CLS. Um, although CLS looks less good against the variant we're going against. Let's gas it. Imps do beat Maul, but there's a chance of timing out behind... Uh, what's his bucket bam and so i'd rather stay away from a timeout honestly and if gas works gas works i i'm not going to complain about gas not working we have a sith eternal for the north anyways so we don't necessarily need this gas uh where's our cron for these guys i did roll a protection up cron for these guys so we're going to be using that gas game <laughs> girl boss okay love that uh let's get his song in here so that way we don't lose yeah sure get some damage out there get that daze out there that should help us a ton Oh gosh. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Joke's on you, even though he's under damage immunity, we can still reduce dam uh, reduce uh, overall health. Uh, but not when they have protection, gosh dang it. Uh, let's keep uh, getting those buffs to come back. I kind of love the protection of Kron. Gosh, they made ba their BAM super freaking slow. That's actually really smart. He's like, I'm still stuck behind BAM. Get rid of all your buffs.
We're gonna have to blitz the room. Give it to you. That way we can get another. Yeah, get him out of here. Make it easier on us. I almost regret not taking our last one, considering we killed him off. Okay, Candorus just killed himself. Or not. That's right, the top moves. Get another set of turns. Okay, sweet. No, not again. I can Uh, Yeah, I had Bam out. You're completely right. Okay, so that's where the fun begins. So we got to keep the fun going, you know? What are, what are they going to have in the back wall is the question. What can I use now that isn't going to be bad to use? I think it's definitely something... Eh, 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 eh. No, no, we already listened to you. Thank you, though. I think we can definitely use our Jedi. 100% use our Jedi. Uh, what are some other teams that we can just throw away and have zero scariness about throwing away? How fast is this? Yeah, that almost went as fast south as Mustafar. You're not wrong. 263? Uh, we'd still be much faster than that with bounty hunters. Uh, would our Imperial Troopers be faster than that? Um, so it was 263 times 0.4 it's going to be an extra 105 speed which puts him barely slower than our Imperial Troopers I, I don't like the idea sounds good Black Knight I don't like the idea of Imperial Troopers here I don't. I, I definitely think that our uh, our CLS would be a waste here. I'm trying to think of kind of what we have. Let, let's look at our teams just overall. Um, so we have CLS left, we have Jedi, we have Murder Bears, but they aren't good. Okay, we have our Bounty Hunters, we have our, um, okay, so one, two teams, three teams, four teams, five teams. Okay, we still have plenty of good teams. I don't see a problem with our current teams. So honestly, yeah, we, we can really throw whatever we want against these, and I don't think it's going to be a problem. Gonna be 100% honest. Like, whatever they have on the back wall should be cleared out by what we have. So, let's waste a good team against this top team and just get it out of here, just in general. Um... So let's do CLS here. I, have, I don't have much experience with Watt Tambor teams, honestly. Um, C Solo, we're going to be using up north on Malgus. Honestly, yeah, let's use Darth Revan here. Uh, we got a Doubtcron for Darth Revan. Where is it? There, there's Doubtcron. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get our song in here for these guys. Okay. 
Okay, new gun ray is out of here, so we don't got to worry about new gun ray at all. Uh, let's hit that shock. Kill off Droid Deca, kill off Asajj. Uh, let's double tap Wat Tambor. Finish off Wat Tambor. Okay, now it's just the piece of crap himself. The Banner Pincher, Banner Stealer. Kill him. Thank you. And we got those Grace Banners, guys. Heck yeah, that's what I like to see. Okay. Uh, okay, so here, it's, it's such a pain. Because it's not like it's a great team. Like, this is honestly not a good team. I don't anticipate us using our bounty hunters anywhere. Yeah, I'm, we're not using our bounty hunters anywhere. Mm, I should have hit someone else. That was my bad. I just completely screwed over our order of operations. See the baby. This is the way. Gosh dang it. I get a stun. Oh, sick stun. Okay. This is the way. Um, yeah, just hit that. I can bring you an alarm, or I can bring you a cold. I would like to see the baby. Go for you, just kind of finish him off because we can insta kill him so we're not feeding him turns. Okay, insta kill. He's not coming back. There we go. <clears throat> hey Jay, welcome, welcome. Go Mandalorians and Maul of the Day. Uh Okay, we're, we're doing some solid work. We're into the back wall already. Eh, I don't like the back wall. <laughs> like, this is easy. This is uh, beyond easy. I'm sure, uh, you know, let's check, take a look at Echo. I don't know why I'm checking over there. 293, yeah. So we can Imperial Trooper this and stomp it, especially because that's a Cody for some reason. Is Cody going to throw a wrench in things? I genuinely don't remember this guy's kit. It's a leader ability. He doesn't gain turn leader. So yeah, nothing there. This can be taken out by anything. This will be our SLKR solo. Okay. That was really the one thing that I was uh, struggling with is how I was going to deal with this because our General Grievous is on defense today. Um, we need another team on defense. And so I put General Grievous on defense. Uh, okay, so there's two left over here. Okay, here's my plan. We do Sith Eternal. Who does have Swarm? Swarm? Swarm. Oh, you're talking about Cody. Yeah, but he's never going to take a turn. <laughs> That's the problem here is he's never going to take a turn. It's not the Omicron that turns off. The Omicron is Jedi, isn't it? Or no, is it Galactic Republic Jedi? No, it's Jedi. It's I swear it's Jedi. No Galactic Legends, all eyes are Jedi. You're thinking of um, Anakin. Anakin's ability turns off, which is if it's all Galactic Republic, he deals double damage. The, the Omicron is just Jedi in general, so it's still on. It's just half damage, basically, from Anakin. 
Um, yeah, so it's Anakin's ability that's neutralized. But this completely turns it off. So. Like, honestly, I don't even know if I'll put on a, uh, put a Watt Tambor in here. I might still do it just in case because we've been getting screwed with, uh, solos lately. Oh, no, we're doing, uh, not, uh, sorry, we're doing SLKR here. And then, yeah. Okay. Um... But yeah, this should be no problems whatsoever. Okay. And then we'll do Maul against the Sith Eternal and call it a day. So let's get in here with this one. Uh, so this one is going to be Imperial Troopers. These Imperial Troopers will make this a 100% full banner win. Why are we just listening to random music? I'm sorry, guys. I'm not really on top of my game when it comes to music the last couple of streams. I, I will try to uh, work on that. We're going to throw this song on. Um, the one we need to kill first is Echo. Well, let's just remove turn meter. <laughs> Gift Guard, Lando's, Zeta, and Omi? I'd have to read them. I have no idea. I don't know much about the Hut Cartel, personally. <laughs> it's about damn time you caught one of my streams. Gosh. Exactly, Sovereign Winter. It is a damn good time when you're here. Okay. Easy clap there. And then our go-to we've been using here is Jedi. Let's see if we can't get a full banner win out of Jedi here. Okay. <clears throat> it's always the first wall that takes forever. Oof, that's rough, Sovereign Winter. I, I know it's terrible not being able to be here, but I, I get it. I forgive you, okay? I forgive you. Uh, pass over to you. Stun everyone. Pass back over to you. Uh, let's go turn off the Omicron. Okay, careful, guys. You're awesome and everything, but I still need the uh, the banners back. Um, a little basic, trying to get some banners back. Uh, you're blind, so let's give you a stun. Basic on you. Big hit because you're the damage dealer. Pass turn back to you. Uh, pass that back to you. Get another basic in there. <sighs> Kill him. Thank you. Okay. Will that be enough? Oh, that's not quite enough. Please be enough. 65 banners. Look at that. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's overkill, okay? But we're going for full banners here, bro. We're going for full banners. <clears throat> mm. Yeah, exactly what Madness say. Not very cash money, you guys. Gosh. Okay, we're going to give you Sith Eternal. And then we'll give you... Uh, where's our Wat Tambor? Uh, let's do this one for today. Um. Honestly, yeah. Let's let's mark up Darth Revan. He's kind of the one I'm most worried about for damage. Hit that guy. 
Okay. Almost a full round of, uh... De what is this? Is it Deceit? I can't even remember what... Yeah, Deceived. Um... Okay, let's keep pushing on you. Oh, come on. You guys are so close. Give me my ultimate, please. Ooh, that's rough, Barry. That's painful. Having the defender in the opening lineup. Oh, that hurts my soul so bad. I'm sorry, dude. That's rough. Oh, that hurts so much, Malak. How dare you? How'd they mess up cooldowns? I thought that was only through fear. Does Malgus have another ability that causes cooldowns messed up? Anyways. Oh, that hurt again. How dare you, Malik? Why would you hurt my feelings like that? Don't you know he is the prodigy? He is what all Sith try to be. He is the almighty Gucci man. How dare you? Can't believe Malik would assume something like that. Uh, taunts down. I can hit her now. Get those shocks out. Okay, and that should be it. Or not. Okay, one more turn. We both survived the bird. Thanks, Malikos. <clears throat> yeah, it, I, I get it. It feels bad. Okay, with this one, we're just going to throw our Maldalorian team in here. My troops betrayed me. Get out of here. Um, okay. I'm going to start the song now because honestly, I don't think this will take very long. <laughs> Gotta be honest. We'll give him a, we'll give him a Datacron. Malk is salty trying to steal banners. Yeah, exactly, Ryan. A little unfortunate, but it's fine. Um, we'll hit you with this. Oh, that was close, guys. Oh, I'm so glad I manifested the win on that one. Oh, I'm sweating, bro. There's our problem. We gotta find a way to get through this. Uh. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm I have early access to get the Gak attack phase, Anakin Lava Crawler. Um, it's a little little known thing about streamers. We all have, you know, an extra four hours of uh of Grand Arena than everyone else. Okay. Stun you. Because you're the problem, child. They make you look tall. Who has the ability block? Is that Mace himself? I think that's Mace himself. <clears throat> He's gone now. I didn't even give this guy his own song. We just kept going with the mall song because, uh, you know, these battles are going quick. Okay, so here's where we got to figure something out. I... I don't like this. <laughs> because we have to have something for Executor. And this is a triple attacker lineup. 
And I meant to bring my executor on uh, offense to be able to take this down. This is the less good version of this fleet. Uh, what is it? It's this, 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 and this. If we can pull this off, it fixes so much. Okay, hold on. We're going to watch a private video that I have. And I apologize for the coughing noises. I'll mute it. Um, but we have a private video that no one can see but me. And the one person that I showed it to. And so let's let's just take a watch, just a quick look see of this video, uh, and just kind of establish how to do this. Okay, let me mute it just so you don't hear me coughing because this is back when I was still sick. <clears throat> okay, so you do the buffs to spell full in on Sith Assassin, and then you hit that AOE. And then you gotta put Anakin under stealth, so it's just the same thing we normally do. So it, it should work. It should work. Uh, I don't like the idea of this, but uh, it's it's going. Uh, bombardment it was great up until now. Now I'm stressed beyond uh, anything ever. Uh, like, if this works, this is great, but, like, obviously, our Marauder is only six star, which is more than it was during that video that we just watched. Uh, the Marauder is one star higher, but all of my, uh, Bad Batch is pretty garbage. Let me just make sure I got mods on all of them, because that's kind of important. Yeah, mods, mods... Mods, okay. So I'm going to assume this will work. And if it works, I'm going to be so pumped. I don't have to win. I just have to kill off two ships. And if I kill off two ships, then I can two-shot this with zero problems. And I'm not worried at all. <clears throat> oh. Couldn't full clear today. Went south. My opponent went second and tried north. Got stuck on ships. Then went south and got stuck behind. That's, that's rough. <clears throat> Ooh, nice bombardment. That sounds like a very even matchup. Okay, we got to get a song in here for these guys. And honestly, the people that are running this fleet is obviously, it's it's not, uh, it's definitely not Obi-Wan. It's definitely the Bad Batch. So, um, I got to remember what the Bad Batch song is actually called. Ah, the cavalry has arrived. Haven't been able to listen to this song on our streams. Okay. So, what squad? Everyone manifest with me. Take a deep breath and manifest this. It will work. We got this. Buff to spell. Oh my gosh, no! No, that's the win condition right there. Oh. This is a delicate operation. We missed the damage, we missed the buff immunity, we missed the healing immunity. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. AoE on Marauder, you gotta. But we might get some bad stuff on him, and we might lose this, but... We're gonna have to. That oh, that was such that was the worst RNG that could have happened. Oh. Have him taunt. Okay, we're gonna go all in on you. Oh, 
worst stun of all time. Do we keep it? Is the question. I'm gonna keep it. What if I told you that the Republic was now under? I think I'm gonna keep it because if I'm understanding correctly, then we'll have the. Uh... Yeah, we have that as our first ship, and that is an awful ship in the starting lineup. Uh, but the problem is, this is still on the field, and so we have to waste our Chimera here, which means we need our Finalizer here, which means we have to make Rebels work here somehow. Um, but uh, this team's really good against Rebels. <laughs> yes, Bombardment. We can go through my squads and fleet names right after the Grand Arena. Um, so... Let's see if there's a video on this. I'm guessing there's not, um, because obviously this isn't something that's seen very often, but uh, it's home one versus finalizer. Okay, so this is suggesting that this, uh, but hold on. How did they go first before the finalizer? Anyone know how that works? I think a full clear is required, dude. I, I think a full clear is required. I mean, this guy has like all of the uh, everything. Yeah, because they're, they're taking all these turns before Hux takes a turn. Which I feel like just doesn't happen. This is also one without the shuttle. Okay, so it looks like this is the go-to is sorry it's bigs okay we'll try this because if we can make this work then we win if we can't make it work we lose so we need our rebels another problem is we don't really have a leveled up home one but <clears throat> uh chimera mess of speed or turn meter uh it reduces turn meter on its aoe if that's what you're asking yeah, that was a year ago. That was two years ago. You are correct, ADP. I did see that. Um, but, like, the problem is we're not going to get any kind of uh, insight from uh, Swigo.gg, I don't think. Like, okay, so GAC. GAC ship counters. Uh, finalizer. Like, it's all just going to be meta ships and, like... Yeah, I, I don't think anyone's using home one. Yeah, no one's using home one. Um, yeah, that's it. That's that's all the stuff that we have. Uh, so we go. No, we're we're uh, we're we're trying to figure something out. We uh, we forgot to bring our executor on defense uh, or on offense, and so we're trying our best to get through a Leviathan. But we need a fleet for this if we're going to go up against Leviathan because we have to take Chimera against Leviathan now. So, uh, that's true, but I don't have Cassian leveled up is the problem. I don't even know which one. Yeah, this one's Cassian. I don't have Cassian leveled up at all. 
I don't even know if I have his reinforcement ability finished. I did finish his reinforcement ability. <clears throat> but yeah, so according to the data, this is what we're looking at. And then we'll bring in these and kind of hope for the best. So it's about the assist. Where's the assist come in? Because uh, Cassian's doesn't say an assist. Spell uh, inflect offense down. Defense down target enemy for two turns, which can't be evaded. So Cassian's doesn't do that. Gain stealth for three turns. It's Biston's Ewing. So Biston's Ewing is the one that does that. Um, yes. self turns it calls a random ally to assist. Uh, and I don't think I have the ability to inflict target lock on target enemy, which can't be evaded or resisted. Gain stealth. Already stealth, gain offense up. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Cassian's third ability? Oh gosh, he has so many. Uh, grant them and Cassian's Ewing stealth for two turns. If debuffs are dispelled, target ally. Okay, so. Okay. We'll bring it in then. Uh, that's Biston. We want Cassian's Ewing, so we'll bring it in. And we'll have a full complement and see what we can pull off. But the problem is, if uh, the opening play gets too fast, the opening play is too fast. So. <clears throat> yeah. I. Yeah. We'll bring in Cassian and we'll call it in as our first uh, reinforcement. Oh, might as well give our song a go. Right? We gotta get hyped up somehow. This has to work. I don't know why I'm bothering with airplane mode. If this doesn't work, we're basically screwed. Yeah, see right here. Both those other battles, we took first turn, not them, which is weird. This is this uh, for each debuff on target. Like the damage over time. Uh, let's take back to back turns. Uh, just start working. Uh, heal. Probably a heal is going to be our best option, honestly. Uh, yeah, let's get the heal out there. We didn't land the, uh, thingamajig, which is not great. <clears throat> Basic. Okay. Yeah, I agree. Um, the end of a regime that acquiesces to disorder. It's not a great reinforcement for Finalizer, which is good. Okay. Spell all debuffs to target ally, grant them and cast them using stealth. Um... Okay. Full turn, all in. Pulling it out, guys. Uh, just keep you alive. Another turn. Yes. 
I am so down. Okay. That was what we needed. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Reaper was a really dumb reinforcement. 100% agreed. And I was... I, yeah, I almost lost my guys like three times, Madness. <laughs> okay. We are by no means out of the woodworks because we have to pull off a Thrawn counter without Scythe. And then we have to pull off <laughs> the triple attacker counter with the finalizer, which is wild. <laughs> okay. Accidentally closes the game. Oh, gosh. Um, I'm trying to remember. This was just... You use the regular lineup and call it a day, right? Last time we did this. The turn meter that they're going to have is going to be painful. Ah. Okay. We're just going to have to deal with it and just go in. Against Riva, SLKR, Malakos. I didn't post it, but I did show it during the stream, so go gameplay. Pray first. No, we don't pray here. We manifest. We we do this ourselves. We are manifesting it. We are allowing everything to happen. It's, it's not about what we want. It's about forcing our will on everything. It is not what we want. It's what will happen. So I need each of you... To manifest this. And yes, ADP, I would love a walkthrough. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um. Will of the Beaver, exactly. Versus four star. I, uh... Let's say I'm working on a research paper about. I don't care. Sounds good. We'll see if this uh, gives us some insight. Okay. So these are my current, like, what I have. Okay. You open with a stun instead of... Okay. Then you clear off the buffs. Okay, I think I can do that. I think... So, yeah. Okay. Let's just double check. Emperor Shuttle. Emperor Shuttle just dies. And you get ultimate. You kill off the ship. Manifesting this win. Okay. I think I'm just going to jump in ADP. Because I don't think there's much nuance to this. It looks like you just kill off big boy marauder and then at that point you just kind of clear from there it doesn't look like there's anything really more than that than we have to worry about uh, and i don't think there's not really a point to having any more reinforcements than we have <laughs> fair madness uh yeah so like i'm gonna assume this is just basically all we need it's this is gonna be insane I'm not excited for the turn meter. <clears throat> okay. <sighs> okay. Listen up, everyone. I need you to will this win into existence. I need every single one of you to take a moment and manifest this. This will happen. Do or do not, there is no try. We are going to do this. We are going to succeed. This is going to work. And in that sense, we are putting on Thrawn Song.
He deserves his music. We will be hyped. And this will work. Oh. Yes. General Zidana, exactly what I said. Captain Sindula. At last we meet in this theater of war. Okay, so first things first. I will stand my operations here. Basic. And call the rebels apart. Um, They'll be the architects. Let's see if we can't clear off buffs for a second. There is no escape. Escape. If we can keep escape. it off of them for a hot second, no we can do a lot, escape. actually. Open fire. We don't have critical hit immunity. Okay. We still have that up. I'm going to just pull back some turn meter. Okay, it's gone. Two amazing dodges, guys. We are doing amazing. We got out before their other ability procced. There goes Malgus. You guys manifested this, bro. You guys manifested this. I'm a visitor to your world. War is in your blood. I studied the art of war. It happened, there my friends. No escape, escape, escape. There is no escape. escape. Oh. There is no escape. Let's go! <laughs> yes! We got this! Oh, heck yeah, that worked so well. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was damn amazing. Heck yes, okay. Ooh. Oh, all the damn power. Okay, it's not Kylo Ren's command shuttle. You run this, you run this. And then Kylo Ren's command shuttle is your first reinforcement. And I think that's... It's all about manifesting exactly ADP. Yeah, now the harder counter. Honestly, the relic levels are crap, though. And that's the thing that really needs to happen if you want to run the triple attacker. Is you need to have some good relic levels to some degree. And this is not great. Uh, we are going to look up a video just to double check. And ADP... <laughs> you are totally fine that none of them use scythe we looked up a couple things we got some stuff uh age <laughs> age we're we're putting out plays this is our last battle and it has been a stressful grand arena dude uh i i will take evan hawk we're gonna double check we we don't want to mess this up this is our last one so finalizer versus triple attacker we looked up this last time and it looked pretty easily easy but we're gonna double check it um yeah, so Special Forces TIE Fighter. Yep, that's what you use. And let's check. It was... Okay, so you just go down on him. You go all in on IG-2000. There we go. That's a better way of putting that. Okay, and then at that point, as long as you have IG-2000 out, you're going to lose him. It's going to be messy, but you'll be fine. Uh, okay. Okay. And then he brings out Evan Hawk. Got it. I, I think I can do that. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to ignore that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh i'm yelling timber uh okay so let's get our uh yeah okay we got first order special forces we have that we have that okay manifest everyone we will full clear this will happen absolutely will happen 
Okay, we start out with Hunted on IG2000. We do just a base hit. We don't want to do anything too much. And then we go all in on him. He's gone. Never going to come back. We lose out on our enchilada. Sad, but it's fine. Uh, big hit. Oh, beautiful. <clears throat> um, push. Basic. Okay, we're going to be stuck behind this guy for a hot second. Okay, we got it. We got the buff immunity. Gone. Okay, they hit. Oh my gosh, that was such a fire hit on their side. Um, just try to get Boba out. <clears throat> uh, uh, as stupid as this may seem, we're AOE. Get some damage on both of them. Clear off one of those things. Okay, big hit. Okay, we're through the armor. Reinforce bulwark. Someday I will be. Someday I will be. Not someday I will be the most powerful Jedi ever. I am the most powerful Jedi today. We are pulling off these plays. We are doing this, dude. Oh, a tie silencer does go burr, Ryan. Heck yes. That might have been one of the messiest ones we've had in Kyber, but we full cleared against an opponent with a seven star Leviathan without Scythe, without a leveled up Marauder. We got that, bro. Heck yes. We are pulling this off. Like this guy, this guy has everything. <laughs> and we still full cleared the dude. Oh, whoever you are, you should be in Kyber 2, if not Kyber 1. Get out of Kyber 3, you jerk. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, yes, we will take a look, Bombardment, just for you. Uh. Okay. He wants me to open up my squad and fleet tabs and show you guys what I got. So, <laughs> I'm not going to read any of these out loud, mostly for the reason that I don't want to get demonetized. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I guess just trash, you know. Uh, <laughs> Wretched Hive of Scum and Villainy. Um, not not going to say that one. Uh, Geodudes, you know, gotta get a good Pokemon reference. Another one I'm not gonna say. Yet another one I'm not gonna say. For for context for this one, uh, so, you know, they believed that the Romans were the first, and then they uh, then took it up themselves in World War One and then World War Two. so I've got the first, and then I've got the third. So, yeah, you know. And then, of course, you know, the guy who stopped the Mandalorians in their tra tracks... Uh, we got GG, good game. We got poopers. <clears throat> so yeah, I got some uh, got some fun squad names. Uh, haven't come up with one with for Ray. We'll we'll get there, you know. Uh, but of course, gas is silent but deadly. Uh, we got just CLS. Uh, haven't come up with one for Zori or the the newer teams are basically the ones that I haven't done. This is one I'd be impressed if anyone got this reference. Uh, the Bandogora. Uh, is the main enemy from the Bounty Hunter game where you play as Django Fett. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, this was my Old Republic team uh, of Jedi. So it was just Old Republic Jedi originally, basically. And so you get the, uh, you know, boomer hypocrites. Uh, aggressive negotiation. You know, you got, it's a Padme team. Murder Bears. 
Uh, you got Catatonic, because I literally designed this team to be able to take down Cat, uh, so that way I could two-shot JMKs with Cat and Gas. Uh, and then we don't have a name for our Star Killer team yet. We'll we'll work on that. We'll work on that. <clears throat> Squad Capitalist, I love that. I love that, Jay. Uh, of course, you know, you've got the Old Republic. Um, they just suck. I wonder what my future squads have in here. Ah, uh, yes, the Chad Batch and then the Night Mommies. <laughs> and then, of course, in my fleet tag, I've got Pietilis. You know, Pietilis is just a stupid pun. Uh, you know, Air Apparent. Gotta love the Air Apparent. Um, not saying that one out loud. Uh, a Grievous Sin, another bad pun. And then, of course, Prep for the Profundity, or in this case, the Titties. <clears throat> So, I hope you guys enjoyed the debut of all of my awful squad names. <laughs> uh, my SLKR squad is called Taco Supreme. I love that. <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, uh, but yeah, so I'm, I'm working on my, my Inquisitorius, my Trashitorius uh, right now. Uh, which will give us our scythe. Like, uh, so... Very close on Ninth Sister. Ninth Sister tomorrow should be seven star. I am spending a bit of money so that way we can get to our Gungans, get to our other farms. And so, like this, we only have two more months before we get it. So, this, not this conquest, but next conquest, we'll have the scythe. And so, we'll have finally have that scythe that we need. Uh, and then I am purchasing both. Uh, so, I'm purchasing this pack right here. That'll give me 40 shards of each. And then for, uh, where is she? Uh, this Chungus, uh, we are buying both packs. And so it'll be 30 bucks, uh, but that will give me 105 shards for her. So she'll instantly be done. I have most of the gear already ready for her. So we're going to be jumping straight to basically gear 13 for this, this character. And so we're big getting real close to our Trashatorius. And then it's going to be all in on our side projects. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys watch Fat Phil, but he gave me a roster review, uh, thanks to Dank Ideals. Uh, and he suggested actually an interesting thing, which I, I probably will do, which is uh, we're going to upgrade our cat. So we'll throw her in favorites right now. But we're going to upgrade our cat as well as our ban Ben and make a full unaligned force user Ray team. So here, let me show you kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, we'll create a new squad. Uh, and I already have a name for this. I just thought of it and I love it so much. And you guys are going to love it too. Uh, not, not resistance. We're just doing unaligned force users. You, you, uh, you, you, and you. So this is going to be our team. And so cat is just going to, uh, give <laughs> if another light side, unaligned force user, galactic Republic or scoundrel allies present, which is true. Ahsoka gains 50% max health and defense and shares the bonuses to offense, crit damage, max health and defense with her other light side allies. So they're all going to get insane defense, insane health. Uh, like, this is going to be a fun team and we are going to save this as it's an unaligned force user team. So it's Uhu. What do you guys think? the oo 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 foos <laughs> uh mcair it's it was an intense one uh, to be sure we were pulling off some crazy plays uh so yeah we'll be working on that here next but for now just that trashatorius needs to be finished and so we might take a second and get up our uh our qui-gon Jin. we did have a poll if you guys haven't voted already it's on our community tab but yes uh anyways yeah. Mm. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> Our uwu foos will destroy the world. I'm I'm planning on that being like an insane defensive team, honestly. <clears throat> Again, leg, leave me alone. <laughs> I bet you anything I forgot to... Yeah, I forgot to send that. Whoops. And I'm guessing I forgot to send that. Yeah, I did. I'll keep in mind that you're before that bombardment. 
I'm also working on quizzers right now, but not spending any money though. Yeah, I just want to get them over with because you guys are investing in a Relic 9 Jar Jar, and I am trying to keep up with that. But I also have things with my guild that I gotta do. And so I would really like to get to that Relic 9 Jar Jar. Speaking of which, um, let me get this back up and running. Uh, we, I was recording, and so I turned it off. Above us, we have our Relic 9 Jar Jar Tip Jar. Our a jar 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 Jar, if you will. Uh, if any of you can afford to share, I would appreciate it, and the community would appreciate it. All, additionally, as you can see from our pinned comment, uh, you can purchase a roster roast for any of your friends or yourself if you want to have some fun and just get torn apart a bit. Uh, for five bucks or you know you can always put yourself at the top of the roster review list just by donating anything <clears throat> yes it, it is above me now i am currently working on a lot of side projects on trying to get our streams to be more uh professional looking like i am currently working with someone on getting an end screen going that has all of our donators for the day as well as our top donator for the month and things like that our recent members uh so that way i can kind of you know send you guys off with a call out to all of those that have been helpful for the channel um as well as i'm looking into i'm having the same guy who did our first song uh we're also doing another song uh, but this one's going to be our intro song to every stream. And so we're going to start having an intro to every stream, which is going to be cool. So I'm going to be starting to work on that and editing that and making something out of that. So keep a lookout. We're looking to make some fun stuff, honestly. And of course, uh, we'll see it here with Wep. Wep, thank you so much for donating to the Ajar Jar Jar Jar. Um, we have our beautiful beaver dam that I was going to show up here in the top right, flowing out with crystals, courtesy of Omnicortisol, our artist. And uh, we'll be able to get that larger. I figure out how to do it in the other program that I'm using. And so I'm putting a lot of work into this other program. So we'll have some fun times. <clears throat> IDK, that is amazing. You have been harping on that for so long where you've just been struggling with fleets. The fact that you're getting Executor is so exciting, dude. Make sure you throw that in our uh, Discord and I finished a farm. And also, please, for the love of all that is holy, Relic, Relic, please Relic your bam. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> uh yeah oh absolutely wep i mean you haven't had your live roster review for this month so absolutely you can uh 100 hop in a live uh one there is wep showing up for the jar jar tip jar uh but yeah we'll we'll be able to get that uh that damn much bigger so that way everyone can see it very easily um i can be a free ro <laughs> and you ro roast my gak opponent oof uh no, no, investing in a jar, jar, jar. I need to get like like an actual physical jar that I can have on my desk. <laughs> uh, and, and that way, you know, uh, when I uh, put some change into it and then I shake it around, jar, jar clinks. <clears throat> Sorry, that was a really stupid joke, but I love that joke. Um, but yeah, go ahead and hop in the roster uh, in the roster review chat, and we'll uh, take a look at. It. <laughs> can't think of a good joke so just take my money thank you adp you are amazing i <laughs> considering how much you donate you're probably going to uh have the uh the title that i'm giving to the uh person who has the highest donation over the last month uh, on our end screen that I'm working on, and uh, I'll give you a little sneak peek. The name is the damn sugar daddy. <laughs> so, yeah, ADP at this point, you are the damn sugar daddy. We'll see if someone replaces you. <clears throat> Barry, stop poisoning our young minds. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's, that's great, IDK. I love to see that. Okay, uh, let's jump in with um, WEP right now. Uh, let me get into mine. We're going to take a second, and it'll take me a second just to get the volume correct, so that way you guys aren't getting your ears blasted. But honestly, I do have a condenser, so he shouldn't be too loud regardless. Okay, WEP, you there? WEP? Yep, can you hear me? 
Yep, I can hear you. Uh, go ahead and speak one more time just so I can... Uh, and there's ADP. Thank you. Um, go ahead and speak really quick and just so that way I can see how the volume's doing on their end. No problem. Check, check. Test, test. How's that sound? Okay, honestly, you're a little quiet. Let me just turn you up in Discord. Okay. Okay. How about that, now that a little better? Yeah, that should work. Perfect. Okay. Okay, Wep. Uh, so, what's your uh, ally code? Um, 351. Okay. 172. Okay. So it's been a little bit since we've gone over your account. You've gotten SLKR. Yep. <clears throat> Let's see. And what are you looking for? What's your questions? Okay, so uh, it was two things primarily. So I got SLKR, I got Star Killer to Relic 5, and I'm ready for Executor when the event comes tomorrow or the next day, whatever. Um, yeah, so the 15th. Right, 15th, yeah. Um, mm. And so the, and what I did was I um, was trying to get SLKR's tier four unlocked, like, you know, as soon as possible. So I was watching the video and I got everything set. And if you want to take a look at my first order team, um, I double checked. It looked like I had the speeds right for everything, even though like the characters weren't great. And SLKR is like 535, mm -hmm. but, um, I did the battle, I stunned Ray the first turn, and then Finn went, he threw his grenade out, Poe assisted, he killed my first order officer, and then I lost Oof. the battle. <laughs> um, so, I don't know, I might be missing something, but um, I don't wanna... Yeah, no, you're 100% you're right, it's, and it's something I need to pin, uh, because I didn't okay. take it into account when I first uh, made that video. Um, sure. So basically the thing that i didn't take into account specifically is supreme leader kylo ren without his leader ability zeta his leader ability zeta is what allows uh your hux and your first order officer to outspeed things um okay here i'll i'm, I'm gonna pull it up right now uh and so yeah i i probably should re-record that one and i probably will honestly oh Am I missing a mod on my SLKR for Grand Arena? No, okay, no. I locked in my mods. This was for testing for uh, for Jedi Knight Luke. We're good. Okay. <laughs> Just about lost my crap. Okay. Yeah, so his leader ability, part of his leader ability is um, whenever a dark side ally gains advantage, if they didn't already have it, they gain a bonus based on their role. Supports and healers, which uh, is what they are, will gain 20% turn meter. Uh, and so... Let's see. Uh, what was? Do you remember the number that I gave in the video? Or, um, it was five. Uh, I have first order at five thirty-six and Hux at five thirty-three. I feel like it was right around there. <laughs> at at two thirty-three. Okay, yeah. Well, hold on. Let's. Yeah, sorry, uh, two thirty. Sorry. <laughs> Hux being at five thirty-three, <laughs> dude. I wish. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so uh, if it's somewhere around 233, we'll just take 233 as an example. Uh, if you don't have the leader, uh, honestly, instead of re-recording it, I might just pin it as a comment. But 233 um, times point, oh, not point 0.5, point 0.2, 46 additional speed. And so you need to be around the 270 area without the leader ability. Got it. Okay, so leader ability, then, then you're good to go. Yeah, so if you get the leader Zeta great if you don't get the leader zeta then just drop that uh extra you know 30 speed from whatever other characters you happen to have and you can right. plow through that tier no problem okay got it okay yeah. i figured it was some like because i knew that i was doing it really like minimal like just bare you know cheesing it as much as i could so i'm like there's probably an ability or something that i'm missing yeah so uh i didn't really to factor that into account because i believe what i say is the two zetas that you need to get through the event is the mm -hmm. stasis strike and supreme leader uh but then yeah, yeah. Uh, but but then i was like but you can probably do it with just stasis strike i forgot to take account if you just have stasis strike uh for the tier four you're still going right. to need to up your speed and so that, that was my bad I'll, I'll make sure that i pin a comment on there i'm glad you brought it up okay cool um and then the other big thing was because I'm pretty much going to stick with the, you know, um, what you recommended to do next, which is basically um, go for Ray next once SLKR is kind of done and I'll 
get um, CLS to Relics and maybe get um, Savage in the mm. middle of that. But Sick, when it sick. came to, um, I I was wondering should I go for Chimera as the next like fleet I focus on since I have it at seven stars, or would you recommend I'll have Radis at five stars in a couple days? Like, I just uh, uh, in terms give me your ally code just one more time, just so I can take a look. Oh yeah, uh, let me see. I, Sorry, I uh, jumped out to five, double check the wording of right. uh, the Zeta. Uh, three five one, mm -hmm. uh, one seven two, two two one. Yeah, uh, so ADP is saying that you should just relic everyone, and I agree. Just just relic all the characters. Why haven't you done that already? Okay, all right, no problem. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, so how's your first order looking? You're still working on your echelon and your special forces, right? You're not just leaving those where they are? No, oh, they're part of my farm, yep. Okay, just want to make sure you're still working on that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and then at that point, honestly, 100% of the time over resistance, I would rather have a Chimera fleet. Um, okay. Like, I, I do like what this can happen with the comeuppance now, and the comeuppance is super easy to farm. And so I wouldn't say it's something to just completely ignore, because even at this five star that you have comeuppance, uh, you should be able to get yourself a, uh, a solid malevolence counter. Uh, but okay. the fact that this fleet, this chimera fleet can counter every single fleet as you add more and more ships to it definitely think it's something you should add in next so start working on that tie defender uh especially as you're working towards ray because once you get ray you're guaranteed those tie interceptor shards uh and okay. so then it'll be you know six months before you get tie interceptor if you spend no money or no crystals and so you you want to be able to have your stuff ready for when you get tie interceptor <clears throat> but yeah so, so yes i do think it should be like your next major fleet but also you okay. do have at least six months before you get tie interceptor and so you have some time so factor okay. that how you will if you feel like you just really need another banger fleet right now that can take down malevolence resistance might be a little bit better but okay. if you're just looking for the overall better fleet it's it's the chimera fleet 100 percent. yeah and it's just because with how long ships take i just want to yeah get set on like the right path now even if it's like far out yeah like if you can start working on a tdc right now that's a tie defender uh, any ship farm takes between three and six months just depending on rng mm -hmm. and so it's better to start on the tdc the tie defender right now just to get it at a point where it's usable and even at gear nine gear 10 uh Iden versio you're still going to get use out of it mm-hmm uh, and also keep in mind with this Iden Versio, you can drop a Zeta on her, give her a couple gear 8, gear 10, gear 12, whatever you can afford with your raid 1 currency, because all of them are old characters for the characters that go with her, and most of them are farmable from stores, and you can pull off some really, really stupid defensive things and make people waste Wampa. Uh, okay. Like, I, I used to get holds all the time on a gear 8 Iden Versio, and I just gave her her Zeta, her Zeta makes it so she can't die till all her allies die. And then I just had a whole yeah, bunch I've of gear twelve stuck troopers her before. I've yeah, stuck against that team before a little bit. Yeah, like it's it's super super stupid because like people underestimate what a gear eight does just because it's like oh yeah no she just can't die. So, right. <laughs> so something to think about. Not only will it increase okay. her ship, but it also give you just a little defensive team that you can use without a ton of investment. So, okay, cool. Good point, Black Knight. Where is the Relic Nine Cup? Come on, Wet. You gotta, you gotta be better than this. I'll do that before Ray. Then I'll do Ray. I'll do the R Nine Cup, then Ray. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Perfect. That that is the that perfect farming yeah. plan. I'm gonna come yeah, out exactly. with like the the world's greatest farming plan. It's gonna just be like Relic Nine Cup. That's that's the entire farming plan. <laughs> it's, gonna, all success. Yeah. it's just gonna be like a 30 minute video, and then like the first five seconds is the introduction, and then it's just like, okay, so the farming plan is to Relic Nine Cup, and then I just sit there for 30 minutes staring at the camera. <laughs> oh god. <I> love it. <laughs> But yeah, so it looks like you're you're doing solid work. Yeah, so for the Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, we addressed that. Next fleet, mm -hmm. yep. Do you have any other questions or anything? So far, uh, you're making great progress. I love lo how this account's looking. Cool. Um, I um, Yeah, I have Mara Jade. She's at like 313, I think I got her to today. I just ran out of slicing materials. Like, I'm so behind on slicing mats. But um, <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to, trying to get the right speed on everybody and stuff like that. 
Oh, you and me both, dude. I literally was going through my characters yesterday, and I was, like, looking at it, and, like, I was trying to six-dot all my pilots, and then the white light speed bundles hit. And now I'm like, dude, I have so many characters that just don't have six-dot mods, and so I'm, like, frantically farming and just trying okay. to get six-dot mods. But three... Yeah, yeah that, that is some solid speed on Mara Jade, I gotta say. Like, you're getting real close to 330, which is what I love to see. Yeah. Um, and then I'll do the Imperial Troopers, you know, once I, you know, now I, I'll do them two next and try to get a Relic on Dark Trooper when I can get it in there. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely one of those ones that's really, really good, but it's also a farm. It can wait a bit, like, you know, it's, it's not something that, you know, you need to pounce on. But honestly, if you ever have extra Zetas, which I'm guessing you won't for the next six months at least. Right. But you can always just throw that Veer Zeta, that Piet Zeta on, and even at this low gear Dark Trooper, you're still going to be able to take down Relic teams, so. Oh, that remind. Do I, do I need the Zeta on Piet for Executor right away, or is that more just a luxury thing? Uh, it's more of a luxury thing, um... You know, the it just increases uh, the different stats and can increase speed, but it's not technically necessary. Um, I know a lot of people, a lot of people, what they do is they'll Relic 9 Admiral Piet to have just a really, really good fleet. Uh, okay. But honestly, because you bought the Lightspeed Bundle, you have the key to Mirror Matches, and that's kind of the big problem that you're running into in uh, uh, Fleet Arena is Mirror Matches. And that's the mm -hmm. Ebon Hawk. The Ebon Hawk makes it so that way with Chaff, they can't get target lock, which means they'll never hit Contract, they'll never hit Ultimate, and so you just call it as your first reinforcement. So as long as your regular characters, you know, your Razor Crest and all of them are relicked up, you should be mm -hmm. fine in mirror matches. You don't need to, you know, crazy relic uh, Pia. It is helpful. I'm not going to lie and say it's not. But I'd rather see that be put towards Ray and other things for now. And then if you ever hit that point where you have the luxury to spend a Relic 9, go for it. Okay. Okay. Uh, cool. Yeah. But yeah, that, that, that covers it for now. I just, I'm going to stick on the path and yeah. That, Sweet. I, yeah, those were the things. I'll, awesome. Uh, I'll go get uh, Tier 4 done now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll be sure to add that uh, directly after the stream and uh, be able to pin that as a comment. I'm still learning with YouTube how to do things. I wish they would let me like go in and edit my videos, but they don't allow that right. at all. That's so, pain. Because, like, if I could just throw up just a thing, if you don't have Zeta like, text on the front, like on top of the video, just be like, oh, if you don't have the Zeta, this amount of speed, I'd love to do that. But Right. Right. They, they don't have any kind of editing software in there. So I'll, I'll see what I can do on my end and see if I can make sure that that becomes a little bit more um, known to the people watching. So that was my bad. Cool. Thanks for catching me yeah. on that. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, if it'll... Cool. Um, Thank you, man. I yeah, appreciate it. No problem. Always happy to have you. And uh, thanks for being a damn... I, I'm starting to call him damn elite, but you're just a, you're a damn member regardless, and you're awesome for that. Cool. Damn proud. <laughs> <laughs> Heck yeah. See you later, dude. Hi, man. Bye. Okay. Sorry. Quick little uh, sidestep to go over to that. As as always, you can see it in our uh, in our pinned comment. We always do live roster reviews with our members first as our first priority. <clears throat> Awesome. Okay, let me catch up on chat and just see what you guys have been talking about because I've kind of been out of it while I talked to him. <clears throat> yeah, but Bardman, it's crazy that you've you've won that many in a row. Also, I feel really bad. ADP, DM me and remind me that I need to give you a new role because you won our uh, trivia during our member stream last time. <laughs> uh. Just drop Leia in front of fleets and suddenly you need to worry only about three zones. Yeah, let me just pull out my Leia that I have. <clears throat> also, Dank Ideals, congrats on the 1834. That's awesome. I'm trying to remember what we had last week here. I can actually check. Um, because we finally got in the 1800s last week, which was the highest that we'd really done. Yeah, yeah.
Yeah, so even better than uh, I've ever done. 1831 is the best I've ever done. <clears throat> Can we but combine that with Sugar Daddy? <laughs> Should I make that a roll where the top donation uh, of the last 30 days that's mirrored on our on our stream, just make it also a roll and just give them the damn Sugar Daddy title and so then other people will take it as time goes on? That would be hilarious. Uh, I, I'm so down for that. <clears throat> not having Leia seems like a you problem. Barry, you're not wrong. You're not wrong, but how dare you? <laughs> nice, Irishman. That's what I like to hear. Anything over 1,800, I think, is an amazing score, honestly. Like, I don't even see that very often uh, among, like, Arnold's uh, stuff. Like, he'll, he'll often get over 1,800, but it's usually a struggle for him. And so I feel like anything over 1,800, and you can tell you've been really efficient during your Grand Arena. <clears throat> GL Bodie. Uh, dude, so um, Dank Ideals might get a kick out of this. Uh, me and the guy who d did my music, who I've been working with to do music, he, uh, he and I scrubbed through Rogue One looking for Bodhi quotes, and Bodhi is so quiet that entire movie, it kills me, because I'm just, like, trying to find a good, uh, a good scene to use him, and just every time, he's talking like this, and I'm like, dude, speak up, he's like, I'm the pilot, and I'm like, dude, just say, I'm the pilot, you know, say it out loud, come on, say it with your chest, <laughs> I need to be able to use some of your quotes for a song, <laughs> Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Is it worth making Aiden super fast or making her hit hard? Sit fast, yes. Uh, the more turns she can take, the better. Uh, it's definitely worth making her fast. Uh, especially if you're starting to take her on offense. Uh, very much so very helpful. Uh, Black, or Black Knight, was that you who asked that? No, IDK. Huh. <sighs> Bane Savage wrecked a tough Leia for me. Oh, dude, Bane Savage sounds disgusting. Kyber one's all about efficiency. Defense is kind of worthless, so it's all about maxing banners. Yeah, I think they should really, when they add the next fleet in, they should up the fleets to four. Uh, and then they should also um, give us at least one more team in each zone. I honestly think... Okay, bear with me. This is going to kind of be a, like, a more off the cuff of the sleeve kind of thing. Uh, Kyber's obviously the number one. Kyber should be the number one. It always has been, and I get that. Uh, but give me a Beskar tier. Uh, maybe you don't like Beskar, but I like the idea of Beskar. Maybe you want to make it Frick, because Frick is an alloy in Star Wars that's also lightsaber resistant. It's spelled P-H-R-I-K. Frick, maybe, or Ultra Chromium. I don't know. That's also lights or lightsaber resistant that it's used for uh, ships. Uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, give me something that's below Kyber uh, and above a Rhodium, and then make Kyber have one more fleet. And then what Kyber is right now, make that one lower. Because the difference between Kyber 1, Kyber 2, Kyber 3, and Kyber 4 is astronomical. I feel like the difference between Kyber 4 and Kyber 3 is like the difference between uh, Carbonite and Bronzium. And the difference between Kyber 3 and Kyber 2 is the difference between like Carbonite and Chromium. And then the difference between Kyber 2 and Kyber 1 is like Bronzium up to Erodium. Like it's it's crazy. So I, I think they need to add in another section. Yes, maybe give us a little bit more crystals. Come on, CG, don't be stingy. But add in something to make it so that way it's just, you know... It's a little bit more spread out. It'll allow us to have better defense teams because we have so many teams in the game that defenses are just like, oh, you know, if I don't kill it the first time, I've got seven other teams that can. And so we're getting to that point. And so instead of power creeping, I feel like they should expand. So definitely, uh, yes, Aiden goes first, Barry, but you do need her to go again to be able to keep your guys alive. Uh, but yes. <laughs> Um, I, I definitely think that's what they need to do is just add in another section between Erodium and Chromium, especially because you look at, um, Erodium 1 to Kyber 3 and like where I am at, and you can see there's a distinct difference between Erodium and Kyber 3 and Kyber 2. Like it feels like Erodium 1 to Kyber 3 should all kind of fit in the same area of another tier. 
uh, because they all kind of fit that like late game players, but they're like just barely getting into the late game and they don't have the tools. And then Kyber 2 is for like the really skilled and they have most of the tools. And then Kyber 1 is you have all the tools and you either spend lots of money or you're really good at the game. And so, yeah, I, I don't know. It's just IDK. I'm not talking about four fleets for every tier. It is just four fleets for Kyber. But yeah. <laughs> There's a Kyber Kyber one. Yeah, something like that, except I think they should make Kyber 1 and Kyber 2 just all of Kyber. Kyber 1 and Kyber 2 should become all of Kyber, and then uh, Kyber 3, 4, 5, as well as Erodium 1 should become, uh, like the people that are in there should become whatever this other one is. <clears throat> that could work as well, IDK. Give us another zone. That would be interesting. So they redo the board and give us another zone. Um, okay, hold on, bear with me. Idea for you. We're, we're gonna have some fun with this IDK. I don't know, maybe this isn't fun for all of you. Maybe you hate my guts. I, I get it, I hate my own guts. Uh, I can barely get up in the morning. Uh, so we take a look at this. <clears throat> and we do uh we do what we have in territory wars kind of and so instead of one two zones and then one two zones instead we do three sectors and so we have one in the front and then two sets of four and so then uh two sets of four sorry four more so two sets so just like how it is right here except we have one big zone right here and so you have to fight through the big zone and then you either have to fight through the north or through the south after you get through the big zone in front and so then you'd have one zone right here that you have to fight through with some teams. And then you'd have another zone right here and another zone right here and another zone right here. And then you would have your fleet zone right here. I think that would actually be really cool. <clears throat> As a former territory war officer, <laughs> please no. Uh, but like, that's the thing. It's still one-on-one, -on -one, but it just allows you to not only, <sighs> how do I describe this? It's not only adding more, which I think adding more is good, but it also adds a new definition of your defenses because you can hide your teams more. And so you have to play really, really carefully on the first zone. And then you have to play even, uh, and then you have to play a little bit more carefully on the bottom zone as well to try and get to the very back. So I, I think it would be really interesting OP teams just win. I mean, yeah, that's fair. Okay, opposite. Okay, give me a sec. Uh, let's let's flip it. Let's flip it, right? So instead, we have these two zones, these two zones, and then you have a big zone in the back. Just like how in Territory Wars, you can go through the south or the north and you hit the back uh, backside teams. Uh, and either way, you can get to the backside through the north or through the south uh, wall. Same thing here. You can get through the north wall or the south wall and hit that back zone. Uh, and so that way, you know, you're not locking out low low players where there was just like in Carbonite and someone just throws a whole bunch of, you know, they just throw their biggest GL like Leia right here because they just don't care about Grand Arena, but they still win every time because they're doing that. Um, but you have it back here instead. And so either going south or going north, you'd hit that back wall tier. And so you could do that for everyone too. And so Carbonite, it would only add one more team. For Bronzium, it only add two more teams. And so it would kind of extend out everything a little bit more. And I think that would actually not be a bad thing to do. Should be replaced with the Gorog? What is the Gorog, Ryan? So I think that's that would be my way to fix this. If I were to, you know, CG were to ask me, I would say 100%. Uh, let's take what we have right now, and instead of just hey, let's th throw some more teams in each zone. Instead, what we do is we add a back zone that you can get to from the top or the bottom, just like in Territory Wars, uh, and that'll give them just a couple more teams to throw in and then they can up the fleet count to four as well for Kyber. I think that would definitely uh, be something. Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. The Gorog. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I, I did. I would have never told you what the name is. 
all Kyber One players go to the Gulag. But yeah, so we get this, this, and then we have a big zone, so you can get to it from up here, or this, this, and a big zone, and you can get to it through here. And because it's big doesn't mean you have to throw a whole bunch of teams in there. It could just have two teams in the back, but that would still add in not only another layer, because they could be hiding their two GLs in that very back zone, uh, but then it would also, you know, allow people to push through the top and then through the back, uh, as well as they could just make the overall game just very different. So mixed zones where we get both fleets and ground battles. I think it would be too much because either, people either love or hate fleets. And so as much as I'd love to say that would be cool to have like a fleet in each zone. And then uh, do, like, ground units as well. I think that would be cool. Uh, but people hate fleets so much that I understand why they would never do that. So, like, I, I like the idea, Barry. I don't think they can pull it off without the whole community getting angry. So. <clears throat> not enough fleets yet? Yes, there is not enough fleets yet. But the moment they add one more fleet is the moment that that becomes viable, basically. So putting fleets anywhere i do think would be interesting being able to designate which one's your fleet zone i would actually like that because then you you would never know if the north or the south is worth more banners until you get in against your opponent and so it'd be it would definitely be very interesting <clears throat> but yeah so spitballing we've come up with some cool ideas uh someone write meathead and we'll get on this i'll actually probably uh make a youtube short talking about this because honestly i think this would be really really cool so uh you know opens front wall just leviathan yeah oh gosh but that's the thing that's the thing though like you say that as a joke idk but imagine with me for a second if someone who really enjoyed fleets could go and farm executor as their first farm and then just put it on their front wall so that way they could try to get more banners and get viability out of their first farm instead of just going for the crystals that are in the fleet arena shard so honestly yes and no like yeah i i do think that's actually a cool idea but i am going to make a youtube short out of this and talk about this um but yeah, I, I think that's... Uh, we've come up with a cool idea, and I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, honestly, the baby Rancor as a lifter for Dad Bod Boba, I would actually love. Honestly. Like, that would be freaking cool. <clears throat> Where's our Discord? There's our Discord. Okay, where's our roster reviews? Uh, we do have Bombardment wanting a roster review, so I want to pull this up and give Bombardment the chance because I know he had to leave last time, if I recall. Um, <laughs> you just want me to help you with your Grand Arena. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, honestly, that would be really cool, and... It would flush out the beasts. I would love more beasts. Can you imagine having a full-on beast tag? And then, like, you, we get a leader ability out of it where we can combine some of these beasts. Like, you know, with the Rancor, with the Wampa, and that kind of stuff. Uh, with, like, the guy from Episode 6 that takes care of the Rancor as the leader. Like, I think that would be really, really cool. <clears throat> <laughs> Sure. I, I mean, no one else has asked for a roster of you except for Black Knight. So I will I will take a second and I will help you with your Grand Arena. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So you have a... We'll bring this over real quick so we can show everyone. So we have an Emperor Palpatine uh, team. I don't know what your speeds look like in general. And then we got a this team. That's pretty easy. Uh, what's the other... What's the other wall? You have gas that you're going up against with no arc trooper, which is depressing. And then you have a Jedi Knight Revan. Okay. Where's my GL Tauntaun? Yeah, the crying guy. Exactly. Yeah, ADP. That's the exact guy I'm talking about. DBB. 
Gosh, you guys need to stop with all the acronyms. It kills me. Like, I try to keep up on them, and I think I'm pretty good at them, but then some, some of them just pop up, and I'm like, I've never heard of DBB. <clears throat> oh, Dad Bod Boda. Okay, yep, yep, yep. You got it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Big Triceratops thing from Jack Survivor. Oh, my gosh. I hate that thing. Um... The gas monster when Obi and Anakin... Oh, you're talking about the Gundarks. Yeah. Danny Trejo from... Oh, yeah, dude. Yes. Danny Trejo's from... Yep, absolutely. Yeah, no, I ADP. I figured it out. I, I have at least an IQ of two. Maybe three. I have trouble breathing sometimes, so... <clears throat> Yes, and Mick Air, I will give you a high five if you can name all three of the creatures that are in uh, the arena in episode two. Uh, anyways, Bombardment, we're looking at your roster. What do you have on defense? Because I don't know what to look at. Um, okay. No bombardment, it is not a mudhorn. Mythosaur. Mythosaur would be cool, but we still really don't really know what those look like. You need to finish your Sith Empire, my friend. Okay, um. Here is my suggestion to you, my friend. You are running against a gas and you don't have a gas counter. Um, there is a gas counter hidden in this roster. Um. Okay, so you have resistance on defense. Got it. Mmm. Uh, there you go. ADP and J coming in clutch with all three. Uh, so... There we go, McAir. I was really worried about what you just put in chat. <laughs> Oh, we're going to just sit here and every time Mick Air comes into the cat into the chat, we're just going to talk about his uh his little passion project, you know. <laughs> the incest thingies. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Yeah, you do face them all in in that. So it wouldn't I mean they have the uh, characters and they have already written abilities and so it'd be pretty easy just to make you know, crappier versions of them. Uh, regardless. Okay, so here's my suggestion to you. You really need to finish your Sith Empire team in general. Um, like, I'm not seeing a Malak here, which hurts my soul just a bit. But this is my suggestion to you. You drop HK-47 and you plug in Savage Opress. And you try Darth Revan with this team with Savage Opress against that gas. Uh, this is an old counter I used to use against gas back before I had a gas counter, is you use Darth Revan with Savage. We'll see how well it does, but it'll at least give you a win against gas if possible. So. I'm not even seeing a Malak here. Yeah, I don't see a Malak at all. You need better mods for Malak? I mean, you need a Malak in the first place. Oh, you need better mods to do the Malak event. Okay. I mean, you should be able to do it with what you have. I don't know. Uh, regardless, though. Um, yeah, so unfortunately, your Savage is only Relic 2. I'd much prefer a Relic 5 for that. But that would be my suggestion for that uh, gas team. Yeah, I, I got you, Barry. Uh, yeah, so that's that's my best option in this account for the gas team. Uh, you don't have Imperial Troopers, I take it. No Imperial Troopers. Um, Emperor Palpatine, Mara Jade, do you have Starkiller? No star killer. Yes, star killer, but it's a garbage star killer. Um, might as well put it with it, anyways. Uh, so Darth Revan with Savage to go against that gas. Try that. 
Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to use Emperor Palpatine Mara Jade with Star Killer, and uh, that will give you a small boost to your speed on Mara Jade, and you're going to try and outspeed the uh, the either of the other teams, and that'll be another team for you to use. <clears throat> Uh, and then Jedi Knight Revan should be able to take out the Bosk. And then First Order could probably take out the Empire. <laughs> yes, McHare. Unfortunately, we are not playing a Game of Thrones hero collector. <clears throat> that would be interesting. That's how you make summon units. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm getting demonetized. <laughs> Oh, gosh. But yeah, hopefully that helps you get an idea of Bombardment. Um, that's always been my go-to counter for gas back before I had uh, had anything was just Darth Revan with Savage. But I would highly suggest upping your Relic for Savage. Uh, we're going to hop into some of these roster reviews that are like actual roster reviews. <laughs> oh, interesting, Barry. You want me to take a look at that? Can, can I roast your little brother's roster? Yeah, Jay, I can. Um, but, but a GAC history review, also not my G12 pilots and my skill rating higher than Rabbit Beaver. Ouch. GAC history review. What, what do you want me to look at at your GAC history, dude? Oh, you're fine, dude. Uh, swigoo.gg slash p slash. Ah, no dashes. Bad. <clears throat> uh, probably for another 30 minutes was to matter we'll see it kind of just depends um, I did tell some friends that I'd be playing with them at 9 and so that's the plan because tomorrow was supposed to be my day off turns out today is my day off and so I kind of got screwed in my planning for today and so now I'm just trying to take some time for myself today um, because I'm, you know, now all of my plans for tomorrow are going to be today and vice versa. So, make good content. Uh, let's check your back history. I'm curious. Okay, so this is you attacking. So, easy clap there. Easy clap there. Interesting that you're still using this and you're using Joe Lee for some reason. Wild, I guess Joe Lee is another assist, which is nice. Um, but Scavenger Ray is... Uh, also, the fact that you're facing that Ray in Kyber 2, wild, dude, wild. Yes, Bombardment, DM me. Um, okay, so SLKR versus Lord Vader. Uh, weird that you lost this one. That should, should have been a pretty normal battle, honestly. Uh, oh, and then you failed with your Imperial Troopers. You needed a buff to spell, dude. Where's your buff to spell? Probably would have taken it out if you had like a Shock T or something. Using Shock T somewhere else. Uh, okay, yep. Bounty Hunters versus Raditz. Pretty typical. Mon Mothma to finish off Lord Vader. Makes sense. Kill order for gas. Uh, you're going to want to kill fives, followed by uh, Rex. And then after that, it doesn't matter. I would honestly do Ahsoka last, personally, but... Donovan, you're killing me. You don't have to lie. Like, I get it. If you can't afford to super chat, I understand. I, I will uh, I'll put it down. I, I do do free roster reviews, 100%. Uh, so go gameplay. Top of Kyber 2 is totally different from the bottom of Kyber 2. Fair. Um, okay, so we got a JMK. It's a cat JMK. And you failed with a JML squad. Not overly surprising. JML is kind of a rough counter for it. Ooh, Padme versus Malgus. How, how consistent is this, Barry? I guess you did take out Malak. Dang. Sometimes it weirds me out some of the people that you see on uh 
on these uh in like these kyber 2 kyber 3 areas you're just like i don't know how you're up here yeah i saw the two shot afterwards it's malik you took out malik and then you could two shot it so you had to get rid of malik first you had to throw a seer malico's team at what Okay, uh, also, Black Knight, are you still here? Oof. What happened here? <laughs> For Darth Jar Jar. Perfect, Donathan May. <laughs> uh, and it's a nice round number, so we're not going to be bothering ADP either. We don't want to piss off the damn sugar daddy, you know? <clears throat> this time, okay, you did pull off the JML versus uh, JMK. Very nice, very nice. Okay, Black Knight. Well, we're going to jump in to Donovan really quick, and then after Donovan's, we'll jump into yours, Black Knight. The Revan counter. Revan, 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 Revan. Which Revan? Oh, only bombardment the Revan counter didn't work? That's rough. Did you not have enough speed? Is that what happened? Or did you... Oh, the Darth Revan counter. Okay, for gas, that's sad. Yeah, it's it's a rough counter without Malak. It doesn't work nearly as well. But I pulled it off before. It's just a rough battle overall. And there's Donovan Mesa showing up. <laughs> if you piss me off, you may get more super jets. Fair enough. <laughs> Black Knight, way to go. <laughs> oh, Black Knight coming in with the 269 just to make the <laughs> change wrong. <laughs> Love that. Uh, making, making plays towards that Jar Jar. Yeah, yeah, that's rough bombardment. Mm. <laughs> I finished the bow grind. You loathe ships. Good to know. Okay, we'll we'll take a look at some of your holds. Uh, so there's Black Knight coming in with the two sixty nine. Way to go. <clears throat> um. Okay. Let's see. Oof. Lost an entire team to Malgus. Gotta love it. Okay, this guy didn't attack anything that he didn't win got a lord vader hold is this you or him that's him let's check your holds <laughs> wampa versus ewoks what that's wild that's wild relic five your wampa my friends and this is why gosh i didn't know nisa stopped that do i scout my Galak opponents if they're scary i do hey i all of a sudden can't be seen why, uh, why, why am I like this? <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this. Uh, give you... Why are you doing that? There we go. We're back. I'm back. <sighs> uh, but yeah, I, I scout them if they're really scary. Uh, specifically if they have Leviathan or if they have a Leia. Those are like the only two that I really ever scout my opponents beforehand. Oh, I love this so much. Guys, Kyber 2, Kyber 3, it doesn't matter. Zori will get you holds. Uh, having to waste a General Grievous and a Gas is hilarious. I love that. <laughs> they took Geonosians against your Ewoks and lost again. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love that. Always love to see that. Watching Qui-Gon get holds. Solid, dude. Malgus getting holds. Heck yeah. <clears throat> hey, Caleb Cook. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> the damn leader's blurred out for age-appropriate views. <clears throat> yeah, I, I considered doing a, uh, a foot reveal and immediately my camera was like, Oh, we gotta blur everything. Gosh. Okay. <clears throat> so let's uh let's jump into uh Donovan's roster. Cont 
Control C. And boop. Okay, so you said you just finished Bo Katan. Round three has some dummy holds. We'll, we'll take a look if we got time, Barry. I want to get through at least these two roster reviews because they did both super chat. So, um, already beautiful. Love seeing all the GLs. Love seeing the Relic Nines. Uh, how, how's your Lord Vader doing, buddy? <laughs> Getting you a lot of holds? <laughs> I'm sorry. It's just Lord Vader's being crapped on so much recently. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Caleb Cook, go ahead and just throw it in the chat. Um, type in with X's between each of the three sets of letters or numbers. If you put it in as dashes it, or just put in the number regularly for some reason, the chat just recognizes it as spam and deletes it. So, <clears throat> can I get a GAC history review instead of a roster review? I'll think about it. If we have time, we'll go over it. But first, we got to do roster reviews, guys. Uh -uh. <laughs> oh Donovan you're uh you're a trend center apparently start setting that up where I'm like hey I'll take a look at your uh, review and celebrate your successes and uh you know be depressed at your defeats for two dollars <laughs> just become Swago's hype man <laughs> Okay, let's let's get into the nitty gritty of this roster. You just you so you hate fleets. You just finished getting Bo Katan, at least the Rex for Bo Katan. Did you get it in time for? Yep. Okay, so you have Bo Katan Mandalore. Love to see that. Bo Katan's awesome. Uh, you should probably finish your Maldalorians now that you you know Lord Vader's kind of finally lord failure like he is there is no ifs ands or buts lord vader is in the worst spot he's ever been in the game it, it even looks like that queen amidala is going to stomp on lord vader like he doesn't have much left in the way of dignity at this point so maldalorians might be a good idea to start working on you already have three of them and most of your mandalorians are going to be going with bo katan anyways uh so that might be a not bad thing to do what if you do a thousand dollar super chat? I don't know. <laughs> I I don't have anything off the top of my head that I could be like, ah, yes, this is worth a thousand dollars super chat. You'd basically almost pay half my tuition for this semester, and I'd love that, and I'd be very appreciative, and I would give you a role in Discord, and just like with people who become the damn best, the top uh, membership, you'd be immortalized in every stream, and I'd have you on the ending screen I'm putting up from here on out forever basically so <clears throat> does he have the cron oh yeah does he have the cron for uh, Bo-Katan he has an IG-12 a pass oh yep here's Bo-Katan yeah and so no revive cron as well as the Bo-Katan cron the second sugar daddy <clears throat> Also, part of uh, part of being the hundred dollar membership is also getting your own private video where you choose the uh, like you fully choose what you need a guide or a video on, and I will just make it for you. You take whatever I need to do to do it. So, a second sugar daddy. This is someone else's. We are doing a roster reviews right now. So this is uh, Donovan. Is it Donovan's? Yeah, Donovan Maze's uh, account. So, Maldalorians is something that, you know, I definitely think should be thought about considering how bad. Uh, yeah, nothing both faces provides. You're not wrong, but. Yeah, I saw the. Uh, I saw it, uh, Caleb. <clears throat> 999. Yes, the numbers are going to be even farther off. Thanks, An Anakin Lava Crawler. <laughs> Uh, love that great super chat Anakin yeah I, I wish we were all that rich honestly if we could just blow a thousand dollars on the people that you know we enjoy dude if honestly if I could I would super chat Arnold all the time because Arnold literally has gotten me through some of the hardest times in my life uh, just with how entertaining he is and like yeah it's not often that I watch streamers and he's just 
you know gone above and beyond um another one that might be a good idea is relicking up your plo Koon. not only does it just help in general with the leviathan counter um but it also gives you another executor counter really easily if you're ever in a pinch uh, and it also is a great character in general for both Rise of the Empire, if I recall. Um, but also, more importantly, uh, just with Starkiller, he's just another character that goes really well with that. <clears throat> so yeah, it looks like your, I mean, your fleets aren't awful. I would love to see a Palp Shuttle here. I would love to see a Relic Iden Versio. Um, whoops. You do have the titties. I did not want to click on Hans Moaning Falcon. That is not what I was trying to do. Um, do you have also, yeah, you have Leviathan. So, like, you have some solid stuff into fleets. I think mostly the big thing you're missing is Chimera. And I definitely think that's a fleet that could really help you where you are, as well as a Relic Plocoon. So, that would probably be my suggestion for where you should go next. Uh, is just kind of filling in a little bit of holes. Because, like, you have basically everything you need to have the Scythe ready to go. Um, and have just a really solid Chimera fleet. The Jar 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 hasn't updated yet. Yeah, you're right. It hasn't shown up yet. But give it a sec. Streamlabs is a little funky when it comes to donations that take some a while. Um, there it is. See? Yeah, we, we got it. We got it. Um, hopefully with the new program that I'm using, it'll work a little bit faster and a little bit better. Uh, the dam will also be larger on screen. Um, you know, look forward to the future. We, we will have a little bit better software here soon. Um, I'm also looking into making a shop for our inside jokes, so... <clears throat> Yes, the jar 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 for the jar jar. It's the ajar jar jar jar. And once I get a physical version, I can shake it and jar jar clinks. But yeah, so definitely something I'd look at is so Maldalorians and then finishing your Chimera fleet in general. Uh, getting yourself a Relic Plo Koon also just does help in general. Uh, it is kind of a high Relic for Plo Koon, but even Arnold talked about in a recent video how it's one of the best uh, high Relics just in the game in general. Also, if you're looking to try to box people out on your defense in general, um, consider trying to Relic up some of these characters because you have most of your toys. So you're kind of at the point where you can kind of get some of these characters up beyond the level that they are currently. And so like go over to here, get yourself a Relic 7, Relic 8, IG 2000, get yourself a Relic 7, Houndstooth, but specifically Xanadu's Blood, IG 2000, and Razorcrest should all be at least Relic 7, IG 2000, if you can afford it, I get it, it's not a great thing, but I IG 2000 at Relic 9 really does help for shutting down any counters to the triple attacker besides doing meta counters, and like, you know, it does make it very hard for people to pull off really anything. So consider kind of going through your fleets and just upping your relic levels in general uh to some of your meta fleets just to get those really good holds like you know you could up you know chewbacca up to relic seven excuse me and it would be a really good boost to the ship and it's not a bad character to relic either you know ig2000 is a hard sell because it's not a great character but some of these characters you know you use them on a daily basis or you will use them on a daily basis like plo Koon. so <clears throat> Just mirror Leviathan shaking my head. Yeah, but I mean, I like the triple middle finger. I love how Fat Phil called it that. I, the triple middle finger is my favorite thing in the world, and I can't wait to do it to people. Throwing all three meta fleets on defense is one of my favorite things in the world. But regardless, it's looking like we're getting to a point. Uh, damn merch win. <laughs> Uh, we'll give you a quick look-see, actually, for those of you who are not our members. I already showed this. This is the, uh, the first thing I came up with just out off the cuff of my sleeve, uh, that I thought was hilarious. Uh, and I was like, oh, I, I definitely want this. And so I, I, I'm thinking about buying this to wear on our streams. And so it'd have my symbol on the front. And then <laughs> this would be what's on the back, which I think is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> uh anyways <clears throat> uh 
try finger. <laughs> uh, yes. When you have four meta fleets and three fleets to put down, you take the most, the highest banner win out of all of them on offense, in my opinion, is how you would run that. So I would leave three meta fleets on defense, and then I would take Leviathan on offense right now, because currently, from what I've seen, it has the highest banner wins of any fleet currently against the other meta fleets. So... <clears throat> But yeah, the, overall, I think learning to counter the meta fleets with off meta counters is the best way to play the game. It's the true of Galactic Legends as well. Uh, because if you have to invest a Galactic Legend for a Galactic Legend or a GL fleet for a GL fleet, you're leaving yourself open for them to be much more efficient than you. Um, just in so many different ways. So, justice for little peepees. Uh, yeah, justice for those passion projects, right, Caleb? Yeah, that's what you're talking about. Those those little passion projects. <clears throat> but yeah, so th that's what I would suggest for you is just kind of working on those in betweens. I would love to see an echelon up, but obviously you're getting to the point where the echelon is going to start getting boxed out of the meta hardcore by those triple attacker fleets, especially if you're getting to the point where uh, people are getting that Relic 7 IG-2000, Relic 9 IG-2000, that stuff, stuff like that. It's going to start boxing out that finalizer fleet. So kind of keep that in mind. Consider not only getting some of those Chimera fleet stuff up, the game, the Mandalorians up, but as well as just upping some of your pilots Relic levels. The Rabbit Beaver only fans. Uh... All of my fans going rabid for the beaver. Oh, that came out way worse than I was expecting. Okay, can we talk about this for a second? Okay, I know we have one more to do that's a paid for roster review, and we will get to you, Black Knight. I promise. I promise we'll get to you. We're not going to end stream. But I got to I gotta mention this to you guys. This was physically painful. <laughs> physically painful. <laughs> This was physically painful, guys. I don't know how many of you guys watched this video where I collabed with Nooch and Gerbil. <laughs> Look, rabbit beer. Oh. Yeah, I'm still sitting right here in China freezing my butt off. This hurt my soul. Well, greetings and hello there, everybody. It's me, your beloved Star Wars dad, Nooch Too Good. I'm here today with... Uh, hey, look, it's me, and but younger. Beaver. Lots of mammalia in the chat today. Uh, one just standard. One is, is going to be put down soon. Um, you know, you can't... You don't need the frothing beaver at the front door. And <laughs> These... All right, I'm done. I'm out. I'm out. Thank you. Have a nice day, everybody. Yeah, so this like... Ugh. Uh, yeah, we'll uh, like... Oh, it hurt my soul. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Oh, the worst quote of all time. You don't need that frothing beaver at your door. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Oh. Oh yeah, we all we all need PP streams, Barry, one hundred percent. But yeah, like, oh uh, he, uh. and I'm like genuinely not sure if he realizes just how bad that sounds, just because I don't know Nooch very well. Like, and so I'm just like, that sounded so much worse to me than I think it sounded to you. But maybe I'm wrong because I would have cut that, like. I would have totally cut that in editing. <laughs> like, that was so bad. <laughs> the PP streams are the best streams. Hey, thanks, Bombardment. <clears throat> okay, let's let's jump into Black Knight. Now that we've uh, groaned in pain. It's been a long time since I've, like, been embarrassed. Uh, my general rule overall is... Uh, Toast is how I say it, and toast stands for thrive on awkward situations today. But there are some awkward situations that are just too much. <clears throat> okay. Uh, here we go. Black Knight. Currently, you are topping off SLKR at 100 shards left at the moment. 
I don't know if that's still true. I hope you got your SLKR. I don't know if you did. <clears throat> so, working on getting better mods. That's right. Are you the one that has the requirements for Afro but is struggling with the event because you don't have good enough mods? That was you, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Sweet. Yeah, so you're working on better mods, which is great. A uh, few new faces in your top speed. Love to see that always. I love seeing, yep, sexy, sexy. Love seeing Bosk up here. Star Killer up that high, heck yes. I do want to see your first order officer slightly faster than your Hux. Big thing for when you get SLKR. <clears throat> okay, sounds good, Jay. You have a great day. Yeah, he does. He rages hard. You're not wrong, Barry. <clears throat> Someone's first impression of Nooch. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry for any of you that is the impression of Nooch. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's your first impression. He's a much better YouTuber than what you just saw. That was painful. I'm sorry. Um... <laughs> Side farms include Tuscans, who are my main side farm. Got it. The, your main side bay. Uh, getting my rebel fleet up. Makes sense. Makes sense. When you get the uh, light speed bundles, you kind of gotta. After I get my SLKR and Tuscans, I'll go back to working on C. We'll be slowly working on getting an executor as well as dad bod uh, boba team for territory. Territory war. Really interesting. Um, keep in mind, I don't know where you are guild wise. Um, what this guild that you're in is doing right now but dad bod boba is also required for rise of the empire and so honestly it's it's more important that you have it for rise of the empire than territory wars because he's not great outside of territory wars but maybe maybe territory wars is a big thing to you and i i can get that we just went up against a uh um another territory another territory another guild that was like 100 territory war focus and we almost you know we were still pretty steady against them they still beat us out uh on efficiency but they had like over double our territory war omicrons it was insane and i'm like you know go good on you okay you just started geo territory battle <clears throat> dark side geo territory battle okay sounds good um, but yeah, eventually you'll hit that point where you're doing Rise of the Empire and you do need like a Relic 7 Scion of Django at some point for that. So your, your guild will thank you when you get to that point for getting him. I love the idea of going for Executor. Executor is always a great farm off of the Lightspeed Bundles. <clears throat> yeah, I, he's great against Lord Vader. It's just hard for me to... It's hard for me to justify a Territory War Omicron most of the time. Especially on a character who's not viable outside. Like, I dropped the Mara Jade Omicron because I'm like, yes. Mara Jade's amazing already. And then something to make her even more busted in Territory Wars? Absolutely. But I feel like a lot of the Territory War Omicrons are like, this character is garbage. Except in Territory Wars. Like, the Droidica Omicron. Like, Droidica outside of Territory Wars, I'd never used with General Grievous. I I'm, I've still haven't relicked him up. Uh, I'd still rather use Watt Tambor, I'd rather use New Gunray, I'd rather use Stap. Um, but then, like, you know, Territory Wars, all of a sudden he's viable, and I'm like, I'm not going to relic a character just for that. And so it's it's hard for me to justify a lot of the Territory War Omicrons because it's, you know, not a great character outside of Territory Wars. And Grand Arena, I can justify it with, like, Wampa because of the reason that I get crystals out of uh, Grand Arena and a good amount of crystals, so... Yeah, Juhani is on my list to get. As much as it pains me to say, Juhani is on my list to get because she's just so good in Territory War. Uh, Poggle Omicron, I didn't mind as much because I didn't have to invest a Zeta. I just had to drop an Omicron. And so I was willing to drop that Omicron because there wasn't a Zeta associated. So, <clears throat> Foaming beavers at the door. Oh no. <laughs> get get Nooch's permission, get his little like uh, cartoon version of himself, like pointing off in the distance and it says <laughs> frothing beavers at the door. <laughs> oh no. Debating on going for my CLS team or finishing off Dash Rendar. Also unsure when to get the Revens. Uh excellent question. Um the Revens are fantastic farms and really easy farms to go about in general. 
Um, but it's more of a, it's less of a, like, when you should go for them, because you could go for them as your first farm, and more of, should you go for them now, or should you wait till you need them? So, like, for instance, if you're in, uh, I don't know where you are, Bronzium, Chromium, where are you right now? You're in Bronzium. So if you go up to Chromium and you're fighting your way through Chromium and you're like, I don't have enough teams, it'd be really easy for you to farm up some Revens, get yourself a Malak, and get those teams started to give yourself a wider breadth of teams. But if you're doing fine in Bronzium right now, I'd say continue on your farms. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> I would buy that merch. Oh, no. <clears throat> uh, you got seven holds with your Palps, Mara, Jade, Starkiller, Juhani, Cal team in Territory War. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Like, it's it's definitely something on my list. It's, it's a ways out, but it's on my list. As soon as I have an extra Omicron, I think that's the Omicron I'll apply for Territory Wars. My next Omicron, rather. Unless they uh, come out with another one that's like a character I already have done, then I drop that one first. Um, but it, honestly, I think that Juhani is a great character for that. Um, just that Omicron. Ooh, very nice with a low gear Juhani. That's awesome. Yeah, it's it's something I've been considering, but I don't even have the room in my raid one currency to fit it into my farms right now. Once I have the raid one currency to fit it into my farms, it's on the table because I'm willing to put it on as early as gear 12. But, you know. Uh, gosh. Something like frothing. Uh, gross. Oh, no. What happened? Am I getting kicked out of my guild? I just got a... Okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. I, I just got a message from my free-to-play guild, and I was like, shiz, did, it, did I do something wrong? Did I forget to play? No. He's kicking a whole bunch of inactive people. I'm good. <laughs> the Rex Cron... Uh, the Rex Cron? Or the Rex Omicron? Uh, Nova, you're not wrong. But there are a lot of Omicrons that are not worth it, a lot of Zetas that are not worth it. And I'm getting to that point where I'm having to be pick and choosy. So, like, I'm only putting one Omicron on Ben because the other one is not necessary whatsoever. Things like that. Uh, the It's really nice, Caleb. It's really nice, but it's not necessary. Like, it's really, really nice, but not necessary. And it also gives him a home in 3v3, which is really, really nice, Caleb. So, I'm not going to say it's the, mo the most necessary, but it is super, super nice of an Omicron. Uh, you're not going to notice a whole bunch of, like, increases to it. It just overall increases the durability of the team, the speed of the team, gives it some good stuff. So, yeah, it, it's, it's really, really good in 3v3 if you have the right characters to go with it, too. <clears throat> Anyways, uh, back to this roster. You have a lot that you mentioned kind of that you're working on. Um, and so you're kind of spreading yourself out a bit. And I get that, that you, we tend to spread ourselves out quite a bit. I do love seeing the Starkiller, the Raydon. Uh, you're finishing off your SLKR, which I love. Um, side farm being Tuscans, I'm not going to complain about. I'm sure CG will continue to push them and say that they need to be gotten. Uh, but... Yeah, exactly what AP said, just really quick. No Territory Battle or Conquest Omicrons. Never apply them. <clears throat> Caleb, did you apply it before lock-in? Because you shouldn't be getting dazed if, if it's active, if I recall correctly. I can double-check. <laughs> I suppose we are frothing beavers. Gosh. Uh, let, let me double check, but if I recall correctly, I don't think they can get dazed, can they? Uh, I need Krex, not Rex. Where's Krex? Where's Krex? Krex is in here somewhere, I promise. There's Krex. Uh, Krex. Long Grand Arena, that happens. 
or when allies inflict with ability block or daze, they dispel it and inflict two stick stacks of damage over time on all enemies for three turns. Yeah, so they can't be dazed. So if if you didn't uh, get it in before lock in, then you know you'd still be able to get dazed. But this should be active. So as long as all your allies are phoenix, you shouldn't get you getting dazed. So I'm guessing it was a bug. So I would report it to CG if I were you. <clears throat> let you cheese feeds i think okay arnold said this and i think it's absolutely true i think that it should be a little different than he suggested he said i should be able to pick the feats i want to skip out on screw that let me buy the 30 dollar pass and instantly give me like 50 of the uh of the little things that you need to unlock a character in conquest to get like the crate and so that way i can just not do some of the feats i'll pay that 30 dollars every time if I have the money, I'm paying that because the ability to skip a couple feet sounds amazing. So, um, does Lord Vader change that? Is that who you took it up against? Uh, yeah, also Commander, what he said. Uh, like, did you relock your roster after you applied it? Um, but regardless, uh, Lord Vader's is despair. Spellable. It's not resistible, so you will get it applied no matter what. But it is, it is dispellable, if I recall. Do plus exam inflict days and damage over time, which can't be resisted. But it can be dispelled, so... It gives you the consumables for two global feats. But, like, usually the feats to do those global feats are not bad. And so, like, yeah, I guess. But it still doesn't feel like enough reason for the $30. <clears throat> yeah, the extra Proving Grounds is the only reason. So give me a reason to buy it besides the extra Proving Grounds. Because I'm at a point where I no longer can use the extra Proving Grounds. I have all the characters. And those that I don't, I'm only a couple shards away. The only one I really care about is Malchus at this point. <clears throat> only in his ult his aoe inflicts a dis undispellable ability lock but not his daze um yeah so daze can always be dispelled yeah so i i'm not sure what happened um if you have that problem again definitely report it because i have seen things like that like we had a problem with executor for a while where it's after like a couple turns the locked on um breach and target lock that happens from the uh executor just started falling off ships and so we had to report it a couple times and then it got fixed in the next patch so definitely something to look at yeah bombardment you're absolutely right i also think that you should at least be able to get some either crystals out of the pass or that the pass should be available for crystals so instead of making it 30 dollars, make it an x amount of crystals uh, you know, I don't even know how much that would be. Make it, what is that? Like 40,000, four, sorry, 4,000 crystals. Uh, and so you're just like, oh yeah, 4,000 crystals. So then you can save up for it. And then you get at least like a third of your crystals back if you finish the pass entirely. Like, I would love that. That would make it so much more worth it for me. Yeah, Corbin, we're still doing it. Sorry, we've gotten a little distracted. We only have like 10 minutes more and then I got to get going. Um, so we're going to bust through many, as many of these as we can. Uh, so far, we only have this one left, so we're going to do this one really quick, and then we have one in chat, which is Caleb. So, Corvin, we're still doing more if you want to see it, but yeah. <clears throat> okay. We talked about when you should get the Revens. Dash Rendar's team, I'd say you can leave for as long as you need to until you start worrying heavily about getting holds. I don't think you really necessarily need to work on Dash Rendar's team ever, but you can if you want to. You already have Hondo, which is a great addition to Dash Rendar's team. Uh, Sith Eternal is an amazing farm for what's next, but as soon as you get to the point where you can farm uh, Executor, I do think you should transfer over to Executor. Uh, Dad Bod Boba get it or don't it's up to you uh it will be very helpful to your guild down the line uh cls i would say wait till after you finish sith eternal or till the point where you're getting to the revens where you're just like i need more teams go get darth revan go get giant Knight revan and grab cls start building your teams outwards uh, but for now, I think you're fine going the way you are. I love seeing the improvement to your mods you've made already. Get your first order officer faster than your hucks on your ships. Let's take a look. It looks like you're working 
a little bit on your special forces, but you still need to work on the enchilada. Make sure you're farming that every day. It's a long haul farm, but it's super, super helpful. I use it every single Grand Arena. Um, other things that you have that you should be working on. Let's take a look. Uh, obviously, you might be going for Executor soon, so keep in mind you're going to want to get that Inversio and that TDC somewhere at some point soon. Uh, but I would suggest Executor first, then work on the Chimera fleet. Uh, hopefully that helps you kind of get an idea, Black Knight. I hope that answered kind of all your questions. Um, but I love seeing the progress. Uh, and please get that Relic Savage ASAP. Like, finish SLKR and then do that Savage and then move on to other projects. A Relic Savage is worth five people every single time. <clears throat> Dash is a really cool team and I like him. Um, but I also think that, you know, you don't necessarily need to invest for him to be a great team. I don't ever suggest farming Raven's Claw. I, I wanted to farm Raven's Claw myself at one point, but we still don't have a home for Raven's Claw right now. There's not a good place for it. I'd much rather see you get Rebel Y-Wing and Thai Enchilada, 100%. Um, Raven's Claw is just, it doesn't really have a place in any fleet at the moment as much as I'd love to. But if it's a PP to you, I get it. Everyone's, you know, everyone has a little PP and that's fine. Uh, so Raven's Claw is just one of those ones that's just like, I wouldn't suggest it. Um, but yeah, hopefully that helps. We're going to jump into Caleb really quick. Where is Caleb's? Oh, it's been so long since Caleb put his in the chat. I'm going to have to scroll back quite a ways. There it is. Caleb. Caleb, what was your last farm, your current farm, and uh, your favorite team? And we'll pass the savings on to you. Everyone has a little pee-pee, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> yeah, ADP, yeah. It's painful. I really wish there was a home for it, uh, and I really wish they would make Home 1 have a full fleet. Um, yeah, if you got the Rebels on D, that's fine, but I'd rather have you get a Y-Wing, and honestly, instead of going for the Raven's Claw, start getting yourself a uh, Biston's U-Wing or a Cassian's U-Wing. Both of those on the Home 1 fleet are not only going to be ones that you need to get Profundity, but also they're good for the uh, just the fleet in general, even if you don't have them leveled up. We use today Cassian's U-Wing at like gear 8 for all of the pilots, and then 7 star, and we used it to great use today in our home one fleet so definitely what i would suggest is going for one of those two versus going for your raven's claw <clears throat> so um current farm is leia last farm was treya okay so you got ray you got your spring leader kylo ren do you have an executor you don't have an executor whenever you can be picking up those razor crush shards and add the ig 2000 i think leia is a fine farm and honestly uh not really a bad thing to go for but executor is going to give you a crystal income which is going to be super super helpful for this account so that is the first thing that i would suggest and so you're already halfway done with razor crest you're already halfway done with ig2000 kind of just keep those going and when you have a moment so maybe you finish your leia by that time you have these shards done then go full in and get yourself an executor because executor is going to be huge for you um as for leia overall not a bad farm uh, make sure that you're building out from your Leia Rex. Uh, so you're not only... Because Leia doesn't really build her own uh, team. Like, you'll have Galactic Legends that build their own team, and you'll have Galactic Legends that don't. Sith Eternal doesn't really build his own team. He gives you some random Sith, but you don't usually use them with Sith. You use them with Watt Tambor. Lord Vader, you, don't, you get a whole bunch of Galactic Republic. You don't get a whole bunch of Empire, which is what you need with Lord Vader. So you need to build outwards a lot for those Galactic Legends. Um, and so keep that in mind. Consider getting yourself a base. Uh, consider getting yourself a high relic Mon Mothma, things like that to go with the Drogon and an R2-D2 that you have next. So on, as long as that's in your plan, that Executor is, is in, that, uh, in that plan, then you're good. <clears throat> if you're planning for more than two reinforcements, it'll probably never happen, honestly, Black Knight. It is very rare that you ever get to a, to a third reinforcement against any fleet. 
Um, but also, where's your, where's your Millennium Falcon in that lineup, Black Knight? Uh, Caleb. So you have that into your plan. I do love seeing your Relic Savage. You said you finished your Treya as your last farm. Uh, we'll take a quick look at your Treya. So Treya Savage, Talon Nihilus. Okay, that's really the entire team that you need. Anything else is just extra. Then you just throw it with Darth Vader that kills JML. Uh, you do have a Relic 7 Star Killer. Very nice. You are missing some Omicron, so whenever you have some Omicrons, that would be nice to throw on. Let's just confirm that you aren't sleeping on your resistance. Okay, you do have a Zori here. You do have the Finn Zeta. Uh, when you can, you might want to get that Zori done. I get it. It's definitely a side farm, but something to keep in mind. Um... Just going to go through your roster, see if there's any holes that I'm going to see. I'm not really seeing any holes. Good job, dude. You seem to be farming pretty well. I'm uh, making sure you farm your side characters as well. Uh, let's just kind of check over who you're supposed to have. You're working on your echelon. That's good to see. Um, you do need a Y-Wing here soon. I do suggest working towards the rebel triumvirate so you finish your executor and then start going for like jml going for uh um java and getting yourself just a really well-rounded rebel set of everything get your profundity out there as well that should kind of be your next set of stuff unless you're going to go for sith eternal but that's neither here nor there uh i would much rather see you go jml and go for java and that kind of stuff uh, you're going to have two great defensive Galactic Legends with Leia and Rey. Get yourself another offensive with a JML. Do that kind of thing. So, overall, the account's looking fairly good right now. You already have your foot in the door in both of those farms with your Lightspeed bundles as well as with your uh, Leia farm. Uh, I would like to see this CLS team finished. So, uh, overall, what I'm thinking is uh, finish Leia finish CLS and then go and do executor and then do JML. That would probably be my order of operations for you. Um, as for mods overall, I love seeing that Mara Jade. That is a blazing fast Mara Jade. Love seeing Rex up here. Let's just make sure you don't have a huge fall off. Oh, I did I not source by speed? Yeah, I sorted by speed. I was like, I could have sworn. How fast do I need Lando before the Jedi Knight Luke event? Uh, Lando is only used in tier six. Um, do I have tier six written down on here? Uh, 261 speed is the minimum, it looks like, for going first. But honestly, you only need above 222 or 221. So anything above 221 on Lando's, you're fine. Uh, you honestly don't need a ton of speed for it. It's more important that you have some good crit damage or good offense mods. Uh, IDK. Uh, anyways, sorry. Uh, yes. So, I'm liking what I see here of the characters that are fast. Mar Jade, Rex, Treya being this fast is interesting. Um, yeah, 250, 260 is going to get you just fine. <clears throat> um, I love seeing Bosk up here, Queel, Dash Rendar. I love seeing your First Order Officer faster than your Hux. Let's check your overall mods. Yeah, so you could use a faster resistance hero, Finn, and it seems like your mods are starting to fall off hard already. And so keep working on your mods. You have some really good blazing fast characters, but then your mods start to fall off hardcore from there. Uh, what I like to see is any character that you are currently using on an offensive team should have between 60 and 90 speed. That should be your goal. So kind of take a look, but I love how fast your Mara Jade is. Let's take a look at your first versus your second. 330 speed so you're doing some solid modding uh, 
<clears throat> uh, keep in mind, IDK, you can just move mods around because I'm never going to use... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly never going to use Lando for anything. So, like, I just threw mods on from other characters and then moved them back. But, yeah. So, honestly, keep going on your mods. Um, yeah, exactly what Corbin said. So, keep kind of keep an idea of who what characters you can use and so like for instance mara jade is a great character to make a mod uh thing that you can just whip off and she just make a mod load out of her because you know you're really blazing fast mods so those characters that you just need fast for an event you could put her mods over and then if you have like a jedi knight luke you're like well i have all offense mods and it's all based off of doing damage on him with some speed that's going to be great put it in a mod loadout because then you can move that off of him onto a character that needs a lot of offense during an event and so make a couple mod loadouts of kind of your top characters for each kind of style support damage speed that kind of stuff so very very helpful to do idk uh anyways hopefully that kind of gives you an idea caleb it looks like you're kind of on the right path um you already have some solid mods going you should keep going along that route uh, I, you are very Zeta starved. And so kind of taking some time and going for executor, honestly, is going to give you the time to build up some of those Zetas as well. So something to look at as a good thing is going for executor doesn't require anything for the characters. And so you can just take that entire time dropping Zetas on teams you already have. So, <clears throat> uh, honestly, I looked and then I just did not absorb any information so let me check again 577 is fantastic that is like anything over 570 is the perfect spot for where you want slkr especially as your first galactic legend just because you get solid stuff out of it i love seeing an offense health set over 500 speed is kind of where you want to be with her uh and close to 10,000 damage so your gls are modded beautifully i love seeing it uh, hot utils is worth it for the modding alone. That is something that has been super helpful to me for a long time, especially consider you can also get it with your guild. And so a couple of you can pitch in and get a couple accounts under one account. And it'll not only let your entire guild do some solid stuff for territory wars, but then also it'll be cheaper on all of you to be able to get the best out of hot utils. So definitely something to look up. Uh, if you look up like just Arnold hot utils, he has a couple of videos about it that are really, really great. <clears throat> my ray is trash honestly it's not bad because you you're not really worried about the speed when it comes to ray like sure ray is cool to have good speed on but honestly having wonky speed like in the 500s is actually fairly good because her ultimate just throws you off pretty bad and so you can get some really stupid holds off of an slkr versus ray because your speed isn't that high it's very much more important that you have some good health and some good offense on here than anything else so your ray is fine it, it may not look like it but she is fine yes i do gotta go thank you for reminding me ryan i was supposed to go three minutes ago uh or i was supposed to be there three minutes ago uh thank you guys so much um for being here with me and humoring me as i've gone off on my weird tangents about nooch too good and how they should fix grand arena and also thank you so much for letting me look at your rosters um i wish i had more time but i don't today uh come hit me up on friday we'll have more time that day and i will see you guys in